Load! Load! Yes. I feel like I've lost hours. Five fifty six. Yes, there we go. Everything's loaded in. Looks good. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Today, today is the day where we are going to beat Survivor. So excited. Um, we're going to start with the story thing, like I said I was going to. And then uh, we're going to jump into bounties. And then we're going to go back into story, is what my current plan is. So, <clears throat> but I'm excited to get to the end, to see how it goes. See how tough it is. Um, see if it's sad or what. I doubt it's going to be happy. We're in the, in the Empire era, you know. Day off work tomorrow, you can watch the stream in full. Ah, it's gonna be there gonna be a lot of stuff today, I think, that we're gonna get to. So hope you enjoy it. <clears throat> yes, yes, the bounties. Yes, bounties. So this will be my last one. I don't know exactly what we're doing next week as far as streams go. Um it's possible I may I, I'm planning on working on uh my Pokemon team and stuff, so I may stream on Pokemality. Perhaps on Monday and or Wednesday. Uh, but I don't know about any other streams for anyone else as of right now. I feel like the double Rancor, double Ogdo combos were tough. And I should be able to handle any boss fight with less deaths than whatever I did with those. But the, uh, with this being the last of Survivor, I'm excited, though, in the future, we're going to have, uh, what was it, Outlaws is going to be coming out. I'm excited for Outlaws. We'll be playing that for sure. Um, and there'll be some other Star Wars stuff, too. Just, there might not be a Survivor stream for a little while. Eric is currently in a stream already, so he's not going to be doing, he's not going to do all the streams, Daniel. He's already in the middle of, a. Uh, Twice a week playing Tears of the Kingdom. But you can see that over on twitch.tv slash blindwave. It is not Star Wars, so it's not here. Hello, Josh. Welcome. Glad you could join. No. No, Cole. Tis not. Um, anything else that we would need to do or anything? We may see, like, maybe once we're done, if there's anything else that we really need to get done or anything, but we'll probably wrap up with the story, and then I can always spend time trying to get to things in other ways. Like, how do you get to that one elevator? You know what? We might go do that, because that thing's been bothering me. We might go to that elevator later. I did not, Josh. We went so long without ponchos. Why would we bring it back to ruin the end? <clears throat> this has nothing to do with anything except for my curiosity. No, not that button. Wrong button. Oh, come on, where's the... Oh, my mouse. There it is. Alright, come on, come on. I need to ask this question.
Struck by lightning. Dang, Josh. Hope everyone's okay. Just got TV, internet. Dang. <sighs> All right. I don't know how long and how much story we have, so that's why I wanted to uh, take a little bit of time earlier on and get to talk a little bit. But I want to jump into the game soon. That way we can get things rolling. Thank you, Flynn. Have a good one. But I want to give just a little bit of time, make sure everyone gets to get into the stream, join us. I can imagine, Josh. I'm glad everyone's okay, though. Welcome, Golly Jr. Good, your PC's good. Glad to hear it. Sorry about the TVs and such, though. <sighs> Alright. So, where we left off last time, we did some extra exploration. Went through all of Jeddah. Um, all of Nova. We are missing a little bit of the moon. But, I'm not too worried about that one. And we're missing about 6% of Kobo. We explored the funky caverns. I'm gonna, I just, that's just what I'm going to call them. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to say it, but we're going to call them the funky caverns. Uh, we explored that, which was cool. Had some boss fights down there. I don't know if there's any other world bosses I've, I'm missing. I know of one world boss that I haven't fought, but I beat him already. Uh, I think it was a Mogu or something. So They are not secret No Poncho fans. They have been here. They have said it hasn't been everyone wanting a Poncho. That's why I said out of curiosity, I wanted to see where the poll went on... The idea of honchos. I wasn't planning on 100%ing the seeds. More so the 100%ing of exploration. Uh, mainly because the exploration side of things is when you find bosses or you find little easter eggs in places that you would have not seen or been to. But not as far as like I need to go everywhere and make sure I get all the seeds. I also don't know if I have, uh, I just have treasures. I don't even have a thing that shows, shows, uh, seeds. So, I don't know what that is. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have them on my legend, so I must not have any kind of seed things yet. Um... They, you know what they should show? They show force tears, but is there a way to look up how many force tears I've done? We're going to switch over into the game, guys, while we play and check and talk. What was I just looking for? I want to look at collectibles. Where were the collectibles? Inventory? 33 of 145, 63 of 100, 40 of 60. I'm missing one fish. Guys, we got to find one more fish. We got to get the last of Scuba Steve, Stev, Scuba Stev, uh, Scuba Steve. We got to find the last of his story. We got to do that. Got to get some bounty pucks. We did all the hollow tactics. We found a lot of scrolls uh, Monday, but we didn't get them all. And we're missing one more music track. Hmm. Wait, can it show me where the last music track is? What? Is the last music track there? Why did, why did it put me there? But we gotta find that fish. I don't know. I don't know if anything tells you where the fish are. Show on map. what's that do? That just showed me the same place. Man, they don't show me nothing. So we might need to explore... I'm assuming Kobo is where it will be. So we might need to explore Kobo a little bit. Unobtained droid upgrade. This. 
Let's get started and move into the store. I don't know if there's anything here I can do. Go this way. Favorite new character? Um, I like Herd Troopers. What are they doing here? Oh no. Hey, you know what? You can fight him. You know what? <laughs> You're getting hit now, baby. Alright, now you! Oh, I didn't block it. There we go. Gotta get. Whoa! There's more? Oh, blast! Hey, you know what? Flamethrower him! Oh no! Oh no! I'm looking to get promoted! Okay, you Let's fight. fight together. I gotta get these guys. I don't want these guys shooting at me. Hey, there's someone up there. Where you at? That worked. Uh, hey, can I borrow you too? No. Oh. Okay. I don't know how to do that. The first super thing. Hello. Oh my! Can I hack you please? Thank you! I would really like that Viper Droid on my side. And maybe you! Take care of this BD, BD, BD! Oh no! Try this again, BD, take care of that. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Trivial opposition. Ah, hack him. Uh oh, he's gonna get blown up. No, he's not. He's. Oh. Hack, hack, hack. Yes. Now all your droids are. Dang it. Alright, well, I got three of them. Get him, Vipers. Get this one. You gotta shoot that other Viper. Ow. Heal. Oh no. But I thought BD got you. You need to hack this, please. Oh, more. Get him, Dark Trooper. Oh, no, I'm getting shocked. I'm getting zippy zapped. Stop it. Nice. Good job. Alright, let's heal. Run, droid! Okay, he's fine. They were waiting for us. Maybe Bo told them we were coming. Good job, guys. We did that. Mmm, <laughs> ah, yes. This looks promising. Can I do something here now? All 
the arrays were online. I would just have to activate them. Free must have locked down the facility when they evacuated. Ooh, okay. There's no puzzle here at all. Yeah, when we're talking about favorite new characters, um, I probably really like Cage. Hmm. Who else do I like? Position. Oh, I stand ready for your order. It would be my honor to see Master Kree's dream alive once more. We're your master. Into the abyss. Tantalor's unlocked! Oh. oh no! Oh, I can get it. I think my favorite two are probably Cage to head back to the and Ravis. I like Bounty Hunters a lot. I think Ravis just I'm is a really cool connection to a lot of stuff. It's the only way we're getting to Tantalor. All right. Now we can head back to the saloon. Dang, how deep is this? Are we going back to where we started or are we going elsewhere? Okay. Thank you for patrolling this area, droid guards. Can I open this up? Doesn't appear to be openable. How do I get? Did I already get this? I must have already gotten that. As I said before, too. The poll was strictly for my curiosity. And didn't any didn't necessarily mean anything. We're gonna go to Pyloon now. <clears throat> New character conversations available at Pyloon Saloon. Hopefully one of them gives me a bounty. Hopefully another one is a, another close conversation. We do those a lot. It's really loud inside the cantina, you know, the saloon. So you really gotta get close to be able to, you ever been in like a like a place with loud music? You gotta get close to hear what's happening. He's not talking to me, okay. <gasps> Wait, where did Toa go? He ain't got anything to say. If you hear any more great tunes on your travels, load them up in here. Hey, how come he never charged me for our chats? You make everyone else pay for your wisdom. Ha! If wisdom could be obtained with credits, all would possess it. Every fortune has a price. But a conversation between friends is priceless. 
useless. That is why I do not charge you, Sojourner. Sojourner. Thanks, Tulak. I like Tulak. I must be alone now. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yes, Cage. The brood's getting desperate now, Cal. How's that? Yes. They've sent one of their best gunslingers to Jeddah, complete with droid backup. Jeddah. Called the half, and their partner, a droid called the other half. <laughs> half and the other half. Say what you will about the Hexian brood, but they don't like personality. Can't argue with that. Go give him a warm welcome, will ya? Apparently, Sork Tolmo still hasn't learned his lesson. All right, guys, looks like we're going to Jeddah. Just like that. As far as I can tell, they even have time to radio me. Man, it's just. Got a second monk? There's monk. Here it comes. Heritage ran out of here in a hurry. Have anything to do with those lights in the sky? Z's helping us out. Monk. We're about to take off. Don't know when we'll be back. If we'll be back. That sort of trip. I see. Well, you've got no open tabs, so I suppose all that's left to say is good luck. And come to Pi Loom Saloon. And we hope to see you soon. Catchy song. Maybe you missed your calling. Never too late to try something new. It was good to see you. <sighs> Feels like we're coming to the now, end of conversations. Did you hear? A fool Grok got done in by an Imperial patrol. What? Told the old bastard to be careful when he left. You sent him alone? I thought he could handle it. He was just nabbing a fuel injector. At least the fuel injector didn't take a single hit. That geezer sure didn't know his way around a payload. Guess you and Grok weren't so close, huh? No, this is what the old man would have wanted. Call it my bereavement tax. Dang. How are you doing? Grok died? Grok is killed stealing a valuable fuel injector from Imperial territory. Though Dana managed to recover the injector, she's still processing the loss of her partner in crime. Man, they they killed off one of these people in the saloon. I heard back from some of my friends who were dismissed from the academy. They didn't take kindly to being silenced by the Empire, and they're planning to do something about it. Oh yeah? We are arranging a meeting. Turns out there are more people ready to take action than we thought. I don't suppose you'd be interested in coming along. Maybe another time. I've got some things I need to take care of. I figured. Hey, you know what they say, though. I have a feeling I don't. Sooner or later, a charged hydron emulsion solution will find its way back to equilibrium. Yeah, that sounds about right. I had to end it with one more of those. Talk to you soon. I need to gather my things. Turgle, what's up? Hiya. Okay. Man, a few words. That Josie, I see your sweet talk reminds me of a time when I was out on a mountain hike with my older brother. We came across the Tibidi. Ever seen one? Yeah. Those are enormous. <laughs> no kidding. Beautiful specimen. Was gonna leave well enough alone. Then, all of a sudden, the Tibidi snatches my brother and takes flight. I scramble up a cliffside. We didn't want to hurt the Tibidi, mind you, but I had to save my brother. Threw my spear, pierced the bee straight through. That must have been quite the throw. How'd you manage it? And what choice did I have? Brother fell, got a few scrapes. He was lucky. Wish I could have talked that Tibidi down. But there are some fights you just can't avoid. Hmm. Be seeing you. How are you holding up, Grease? I'm just, I'm, I'm so angry, you know? I don't know what to do with it all. Yeah, me too. I'll be here, Cal. Uh, so Z shouldn't be up here, but Marin should be, right? Do these Imperials spook you as much as they do me? Yeah, they do. I'm just not used to this, mate. Sure, the Reach has always been dangerous, but this feels worse somehow. 
Hang in there, Har. They haven't taken Kobo yet. Yeah, you're right. It'll take more than some TIE fighters flying overhead to break our spirits. Cal, I appreciate you sticking up for the Reach. Sure use more like you. Yeah, you too, little guy. Oi, Cal, good to see you. Can't do the shop there anymore. Are you ready to go? Just about. When we confront Bo, just remember, he has what he wants. He will fight to the death to keep it. Jedi and Night Sister, together again. It would be cool if it's me and her against Bo. Gotta find this fish, guys. We got 11 to 12. What happens when you get all 12? What's the story? The tank's pristine. I want to know the story of Scuba. So. So this here is a Miralon. I know before people were talking about what's a Miralon. So Moran or Moran may be more of a purpley blue type of Miralon. And not Pandora. Pandora. Great to see you. All right, damn, doesn't say. We won't do hollow tactics right now. <gasps> hey, make my gardens better. Oh, dang it. It's because I'm missing so many seeds still. to Jetta to find a bounty hunter. Where to next, PD? Look, over there's Tantalor. Here's where we're going. Jetta, huh? Lateros ain't built for the cold, you know. Is it not just that I need more types Wait, of after all seeds this, planted or anything? To Are you so eager to I think I just need to find more in. seeds and plant more types I mean, of seeds. No, I just thought that if that's wrong, then we'll I may need to look it up, I guess. You save the pit droid and he just right, kid, kicks We're your here. ship. Well, that's what I was doing before, Jack. I thought I was—I thought I filled everything, but they didn't seem to care. Is there a chest just like right here? Is it up there? Is it up there? What the heck? Has this been here the whole game? I've just been missing it. Uh, it's probably after. <sighs> Does anyone know where the last fish, like what planet it's on. Yeah, once I opened it up and saw it was in there, I'm like, okay, this hasn't been there the whole game. Honored guest, 
the wise one who instructed Master Junda. Come, come, Master Cordova. You must be wary from your travels. I will show you the way. Say, did I say I'm facing Bode? Um, I said that, uh, I have, like, Bode's headed to Tantalor, so... I'm assuming I have to, like, face him, face him. Maybe not. Maybe I have some other kind of villain that I have to deal with, but he's just... Um, part of that. Is this where I wanted to go? Where's that other thing? Oh, it's, I missed it a little bit back this way. I know I got one fish on Jetta last time near Scrite. I don't know if I got the other fish. I don't know if it's one of the percentages I'm missing on... Oh, I can probably just fast travel from here. Uh, actually, I'll go in here to the library. He's back over there, eh? Oh, uh, I kind of remember that place. So if we just fast travel there, we can just straight on up. Awesome. Okay. Let's stop here. Okay. Bounties, fish, story. Those are all the things we're getting done today. For sure. I want to get the rest of the fish story. Uh, let's go backwards. Yeah, I think I want to go there. There's a fish outside the archives? I don't know if I got that one. I don't remember ever getting another one on Jetta. So it's quite possible... Uh... Which way's east? I know I got one over here. Like over here was one. Like right outside, yeah, right outside the archives. That's the one I know I got. I don't know about any others. All right, we gotta go up this. There we go. All right, bounty hunter. Yeah, bounty hunter. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Oh, that's not what I wanted. Let's heal. Okay, let's take out this guy first. Watch this. Uh. Right here, oh, shocking. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see him. Do this. Work. Oh! <laughs> Man, that's <was> nice. <coughs> Another hunter off her back. <sighs> that was cool. All right. Them, buddy. Hopefully, I got their. Uh... Ooh, look at all them guys. Oh, I know where I am. Okay. The last fish I need is a blue finned crayfish. And help me. I don't know what that means, but yes. 
I need that one. Then. I lifted that robot, I pushed off that bounty hunter, and then I pushed off that bounty hunter. It's great. It's just, how do you pick the pucks off of them whenever they've fallen so far to their death? All right. Next, let's go to... Gotta go back to Kobo. So as long as it's not on Jetta, I mean somewhere on Kobo now. is our last fish. Aralor? Not yet. Smart, yeah. Once we go, who knows if we'll come back. How comforting. You're not exactly sunshine and flowers yourself, you know. This may be our last chance once we go there. It's probably like that's... It's like when you had to go to, um... Shoot, where we go? Fortress Inquisitus, right? Once we went there, we weren't really going back. You had to finish the story. So. Get up here. Alright. Alright, what we had? We had, uh... I don't know. Five, six bounties left. Seven bounties left. Something like that. Between five and seven. We just took out, I'm assuming, that's two, but that may just be one bounty. I don't know. There's several games that, like, over the years have had a point of no return type of thing. Um, one of them that got me when I was younger was, I think it was Final Fantasy VII. And maybe there was a way back, but little Aaron could not find a way to get back. I wasn't that little, I suppose. I was, I was behind. I didn't play it when I was real young. But there's a point when you went down in a crater, and I tried to boss several times and gave up because I just couldn't I just couldn't get him another time enjoy the beats Cal I must be alone now right, how about you? hey hunter the Hexian's bloodhound Vaslin Marx has been sniffing around for you on the mountain this guy's moving in with his stealth squad so make sure not to get blindsided stealth squad copy that watch my back BD huh kind of starting to like that little droid kind of all right, let's check out this. I think we got all. Of, yeah, okay. So, um, I really don't use very many of these. Sounds cool. I'll take it. Hey, Toa. Hey. I've been mulling over what you said about the future of Corbo. I think you're right to have hope. History has always been wont to change course suddenly and irrevocably. Did you ever hear about the discovery of the Auric Cluster during the High Republic? No, I didn't. Would you like to hear about it? Um... I want to hear about this. I was also warned about spoilers. But it's not like you guys didn't get my reaction sure. like from a to. book anyway. Zanet Otsian was appointed Republic Ambassador to the Auric Cluster, which had just been identified as populated. Several Republic picket ships had been destroyed near the cluster. It was strongly suspected that Auric civilization was spacefaring and warlike. Zanet was escorted by a contingent of Republic starfighters. Everyone expected a confrontation. Unfortunately, her journey coincided with the fall of the Starlight Beacon. She lost all long-range communications and was stranded just inside the cluster, separated from her military escort. She was discovered by a passing Oryx ship and could not escape before it overtook her. And when she was boarded, she was met with a diplomatic convention bearing gifts from the riverbeds of Oryx III. Had she been accompanied by a wing of starfighters, things could have gone quite differently. I'm glad things turned out well there. Not quite sure we can count on good faith from the Empire, though. All I'm saying is that history turns on small events with unthinkable consequences. 
I don't plan to give up on the future. No matter the past. I'm glad to hear you say it, Toa. Wow. I don't recognize the names hey. right away from all that, but there's one hey. thing I recognize from that, and How I'm like, doing? what? I'm okay. You? Guess I'm fine, too. It's all right if you're not. Hey, hey, don't get mushy on me. Do I miss Grok? Sure I do. I mean... You know what hurts the worst? The old man was strong, sharp, grumpy enough to curdle clear water, too. Beneath all of that, he actually believed that a couple of nobodies like us could strike it rich. Too many skeptics and cynics out there, Cal. You find a believer, you hold on tight. I hear you. Come back later, yeah? So yeah, Starlight Beacon. I don't recognize Auric and stuff, but obviously... Starlight Beacon isn't around by the time we get into at least prequel era, you know? At some point, the High Republic has fallen um, and changed into the Republic era. And we don't know if it's Starlight Beacon, so it has to go away for some reason. Just a matter of why. We seen you. We seen you. Seems like every time you set to kick the grab ball, they pull it away. I'm chock full of regrets. The last time I saw Seer... All I can do now is hope that somewhere out there she forgives me. I'm sure she does. No regrets, Grease. We gotta keep moving. Hey, that goes for both of us, kid. Don't you got stuff to do? Yeah, yeah. I do. See, I know people want me to move on with stories sometimes and stuff, but I like these moments. I like being able to talk to Grease and see what he thinks, buddy. especially after been been long, like, have you? what the story is no, done. Not long. Oh, me? I've been on Kobo for most of my life. Came all alone when I was a little sprout. Age of 12, if you can believe it. Really? All by yourself? That's right. Heard there was fortune to be had, as long as you ain't a lazy bones. And I jolly well ain't. Hey, mate. Say we catch boat. What do you think we should do? He must pay. But we must always remember that there are people counting on us. You're right. Our friends. Anyone who survived Jetta. We can't let them down. We won't. BD looks ready to head out. Alright. If anyone was wondering, there are the fish we have. Someone said about a blue something. I don't see the name of a blue. There's a sea fish. <gasps> Whoa, look at that thing. What's that? It reminds me of the oxalotl thing that was in Outlaws. Come on, let me see it again. How big is this aquarium? Oh, it's over there. Uh, come on, oxalotl, where are you at? Where is he? Music's so good. Dude, I don't remember catching all these. When did I get a jellyfish? I lost. Oh, oh no! Dang it! <gasps> Scuba, get him! Or Scuba. There he goes. So this is down below. There goes Scuba. Is this down below? Who was down there? Dang it, all right. I don't know what it is. No now, dear. Well, let's chat later. All right, where? Ooh. So it looks like we got a few more bounties that we gotta do here. So let's go head on to those here. Uh, it's on Kobo, right? She's in the mountains or something? Ah, oh, it's up there.
All right. We're talking about like we need to. Let's sow some new seeds. We need to fill when every area. Grow, Is that the idea? Grow. And now we wait. Decisions, decisions. Okay, that one's fully filled. Uh, I think that this one's fully filled. And I think that that one's fully filled. All right. Uh, is it up this red ramp? Is that right? Go up, across, and up that way. Hey, what's up, Boba? Um, I don't know. I tried to make... I tried to put one of each type, uh, last stream. Birds, dang birds. Isn't there a that was a rope that went up this way? I guess the rope's on the other side. Dang it, I went the wrong way. back here hot dog it's that slicked back nice What this will fetch a dumb shot. chest like right here or is it up there it's like a chest nearby oh it's like down what oh I never went in this water I can't believe that A light mustache.
Did I miss an echo too? Oh yeah, right here. You good, didn't they? Did you hear that? Sweep the area. Sorry, old man. Be my day to die. You rest. I'll bury you later. After finally being talked into the so-called chance of a lifetime, Grok and Dana's expedition goes awry, with Grok paying the ultimate price. Dang, man. I'm really surprised that they took someone from the cantina and killed him. Hey, will you guys fight each other over there? Oh, gosh. Cook him. I said, fuck him! Not me, him! Ah! Run! Alright, can't get me now. <laughs> Alright, where's this bounty hunter at? One more platform area up. What's this red door? I wonder if I can open it now. Troopers. Little help, ED. Put the big boy down there. I think I did that meditation chamber already, right? Here's where we were coming to, huh? We're gonna fight him in the fog. <sighs> Wait, I have an equipped. What do I have? Good. I don't know what it was talking about. All right. We just gotta get up top there, which should be easy. We just go. Uh. And we go this way. Where's the? Hey, it's that. I think it's this one. Come on, super wall.
shot his stormtrooper friend. That's what he did. Where are these bounty hunters at? Where are they at? I want to shoot them. Right, they should be like right here. Right? Maybe they're down below. Hey, that's where they are. Uh, where's the way down? It looks like he should have been, like, there where I was. But he might be over here in the fog where the Mogu is. Stealthy. They said that, right? Or is the Mogu gonna be here still? Oh, no, no, it's them! Time to die. Got that one, huh? Can't stop all of them. Oh, come on. Ugh. Can you heal? We do this. Heck yeah. Oh, get up. I want to kill at least one of these guys. Bounty Hunter. Dang it. I'll break through. Can't feel it. Shield. There we go. Cage will want to see this. Stop! What the? Are you kidding me? Did you see that? He grew out of the ground. Now we know where his spawn point is, I guess. No, nah, I ran out of my dark side power by the time I realized I could take him over there. I think he was trying to eat me with a oh, oh god! What the heck? I only ever did that before. And that's a thing. Let's stop here. All right. They can eat you when you carry him. All right. I guess we go back to Pyloon Saloon. Have any of you guys ever held one of those long enough that it ate you? I don't think I can grow the Mogu in my garden. Uh, that'd be cool, Cal Joseph. You died like that once? That's funny. <laughs> welcome, welcome. 
Help him make yourself at home. Another time. Hey, Cal. Let's talk another time. Mine's racing with ideas right now. Another customer for you, pretty boy. What you got, Cage? Well, it is. You've got a secret admirer on Jeddah. Big droid called you haul Looking to replace the little guy? Not a chance. Anyway, you Hong's not a touchy feely type, more of a touchy murdery type. Okay. Got another one back on Jetta. I'm getting pretty fed up. Folks treating me like a wounded bogling. Doesn't help, does it? Not a scrap. Not like I've never been alone either. Practically raised myself on an orbital mining station. What was that like? I saw a lot. A whole lot. My heroes were the spacers who ran supply contracts. They'd drop by for a few days, cash in, usually gamble most of it away in the sabak dens. They weren't rooted, you know? And it took me about 16 years to figure out that I wasn't rooted either. So I hopped on a trip, freighter. Never looked back. You got out. I'm glad you did. You know, I'm glad too. I didn't get out of there. I never would have met the old man. Some other time, okay? How you doing? I do like there's someone else going through a loss. What are you saying, you? Here, you know, someone not in the main crew. You all right? Just, you know, a, a little distracted is all. I mean, I'm about to No, Brian, that's what we were talking about earlier in the stream. With an appetite for starships. <laughs> and I'll tell you, my palms haven't been this sweaty since... You can do this. Yeah, sure. I can do this. <laughs> Oh, who asked you anyway? I'm good, Cal. Um, but the, uh, the species should be a, ooh, I stuck with Marin. Um, Marilyn. So how did the outpost get its start? Well, like most good things, it all started with a dream. The vision of one sharp-eyed Waluna named Doma Dendra. Not two months after she gets here, but her general store pops into being. And the rest of the outpost didn't take long to follow. Couldn't have been easy. Doma looked at the first wild old hooligans on Kobo and saw hard workers. Dreamers like her. A whole bloody community. I can see why you all stick by her. That's right. What's there but to follow someone like that, eh? Oi, Cal. Good to see you. Yeah, Miralon. Keep your eyes out for the Empire. Okay. That's all she had to say. Let's talk later. Great to see you. I feel like I've gone through all the conversations and there's only a few more conversations here left. Yeah, Luminara is also a Marilon. Alright, it's on Jeddah, is that right? Hey, Katie said, don't kick my ship, okay? That would have been cool. Ready to go? All right, I guess we go back to Jeddah. Full speed to Jeddah. What will happen to the path now? It will continue. We gotta help them, for Seer. I know. Yes. I miss her. Seer sure could bring out the best of people. She taught me so much. I, I'm glad that they're saying that they're gonna keep working on the path. Thank you, Anthony. Time to land. Get up here. Like my current outfit's pretty cool. All right. Where is this bounty? Oh. 
Let's talk in a bit, yeah? Yeah. Uh, will it show me the... <sighs> Alright, I can't see my map. And it didn't let me click it right away, so we're gonna... Just between you and me, Seer. The man is feels emptier without you. I remember you would sit at the console and hum to yourself while you scanned Imperial Com. <laughs> it used to annoy me so much. But now, oh boy, I'd give another arm to hear you fussing again. Try not to die out there. That was just someone. That was just Grease talking. Like, he wasn't talking to me. I didn't click anything. He was just talking and hurt and sad. been here I think we just teleport outside and gotta head left breathe Spam oh. Hurry! The Empire's coming! We haven't found the final Scuva story yet. I want to get that done before we end. We have one more fish, and then we'll be good. Troopers. I'm in the right spot, right? This so. Foes near. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, hang on. I can use them. Fight by my side. There's one hit. I can't get a clear shot. Don't you have fun? Get in. Okay, just get in. Oh, 
gotta be careful. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, the droids. Right, that's right. New droid. That's, I forgot. Oh! I was in the air! I must have hurt. Stop him! I'm attacking me so much. I had worse. Can I take it? There. Another victory. It's done. Let's get this to Cage. All right. Got that done. Hello, can I hop on you from here? I gotta hop down here? Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on, Marin! There we go. back to the mantis is there still is there a force tear still to do uh, I haven't done all the force tears I'm sure right Where I don't know how many go? there are is there a way to track force tears at all don't you got stuff to do thanks Grease yes yes I know I know quite busy Ready to move? Uh, back to Kobo. Headed to Kobo's finest watering hole. Bum, bum, hey, bum, bum, bum. Remember that time Seer tried to make that Teveronian dish? You mean that time she almost burnt the ship down? <laughs> she may be gone, Grease. I'll never forget that. Some seat, Cal. I was doing that earlier. Uh, I don't think I was actually on stream when I was doing it, but you can hide, yeah, all these. So that's a completed force tear. All the way to the top. Oh man, there's stuff I'm missing there. No force tears there. Completed. Completed, 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 completed. Uh, I did that one.
I think I've done all of them on Kobo. Look at all this red and green stuff I never did. There's so much stuff to do over here. 61%. I was trying to pet and it didn't want pets. And then it started running away, so then I attacked it in case it was a spy. Good. Ooh. It's time to finish. One more this. bounty hunt. Sork sent his very own arena champion, Joe the Cannibal, to the Lucre Hulk with a gang of nasties as backup. The Lucre Hulk? Have the Bedlam Raiders been cleared out? Actually, this is the fun part. Sork's champion has cut a deal with what's left of the Raiders. Ah. Uh. Working together. That's not good. Dude, does this clear out the Bedlam Raiders if we do this? To beg you. Let's see what you're really made of, eh? Come back later, yeah? We'll talk soon. I'm really busy, Cal. Maybe later. Talk soon. Alright, so we gotta go to the Lucre Hawk, huh? One last big fight, and it's a it's another robot. Why is a cannibal a robot? Does he eat other robots? All right, show it on the hollow map. I just told my how to go back here anyway. All right, do we fast travel there? Generator underbelly. Here's your fast travel there. 61% explored. I mean, I can read. Should I read the bounty? I can read his description. I haven't been reading their descriptions, really. J0WR1 earned the moniker Joe the Cannibal. Quite literally, every droid she finds or destroys, she takes a part of. Thus, Joe has built herself over the years into one of the most fearsome bounty droids in the galaxy. The trail of destruction Joe has left in her wake in order to create themselves is beyond comprehension of most. Interesting. All right. What was it called? Generator something? Uh, fast travel. Oh man. No, 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 no. Oh dang it. They won't let me fast travel there. Um guess I'll fast travel here then. It's gonna be like Jeddah all over again. We can try to explore the extra parts we didn't get to last time we were here. I'll catch it Watch this. Good job. I get it. Take care of these guys, no problem. Yeah, 
got him. All right, what's a scan? Uh, here we go again. You must be Joe the Cannibal. How about you cut the theatrics and let's get this over with? Sounds like Sorks managed to find a lackey as deranged as he is. Did I have this before? I don't think I did, did I? Ooh, what's this? Aha, new! Cool. Special command defense. Alright, um... Oh well, we can... Discovered that, again. Um, which way do we want to go now? I guess through this door and straight ahead. Will it let me through the door? All right. Oh my. Oh. Oh, you're in trouble. Oh, I tried to jump over it. Cage wasn't kidding about the Raiders working with the Hexian Brood. Not liking that combo. All right, we're straight. This looks just like episode one. Can you help, please? Hammer time! I hate the hammer time, guys. You know what? Why don't you fight him? Oh no, droids! Alright, fine. Let's do this! Oh. oh, that didn't work out as well. Join the fight! Target you, I want to get rid of these droids. Hey, I want to be needed again. Oh no. I'll get through. Hammer guy, so much, especially with a shield guy, too. Awful. Help me out. Now, please, beat this guy up. Oh. Dang it. 
His shield is almost down. There we go. All right. Dang. There we go. Oh, his arm, good. I hate that big old hammer smash. Almost out of these things already. I think he's my least favorite enemies. Nope. Yep. Because I did, I knew it was the shocking one. BD. Why was that so hard? Okay, there's another there's another heal point up ahead. Yeah, I think I hate him more than Rancors. I'm feeling weak, BD. Defend me. Get out of here! I don't have much gang could use some health left. Some hobbies. Go through here and jump down. I have no health. Okay, so we go through there. Might be okay. Why didn't you do the thing? Alright, let's use this. I need to use this. 
Not you. Dead. Oh, so close to dying. I just want this chance of revenge, even if it means taking orders from the brood. Or the bounty on my head is too good to resist. Just right over there. You know, this isn't our first encounter. Must not have left much of an impression. All they have survived long enough, and that's what you've done by the remains. How long will these people learn to let a grudge go? Oh, <sighs> good. There we go. Okay. Um, what do I have left to get the skills? Almost there. Gotta make sure I traverse where I need to. Actually, it might be that I need to go this way. Nope. We go down this way then. this way. Ooh, I can go right. Ooh, I'm almost there, I think. No, they took down my rope. Hammer guy. Magna guards. Okay, if I time it right, I can steal a Magna guard. I can hack him. Alright, well, I guess I can't go this way. Alright, through the Lucre Hulk we go. There's so many here. I don't think that's what he needs. Oh. Get out of this part here. You, do that. You, stop that. There's no end to these guys. Let's take out the ones in charge. Oh, man. No! Heal. Jeez. Gosh, I hate that. Firing a hole. This isn't going so good. Oh, 
comme dans les Miguel Yo Gun Oh, it's... Everything's so... Slow. So many droids. So the brew can't let go of the past, huh? We know that's gonna melt. Besides, you're gonna stunt at the arena left more than just a pile of bodies and bruised egos. You left a whole pile of juicy, cybernetic bits in your wake. Weird. Got to go that way. That. That's the way I already went. So I must have to go through that green door. Uh, it's to the left. I think it was this way, right? All right, we're on our way to it. Uh, what we got? What droids are there? No droids, really? Just, oh wait, that's a droid, the dead droid, never mind. <sighs> All right. Oh, that didn't work. I thought I could run that wall. Uh, do I just jump across? Slow it down and watch it. Contest. Okay. Uh, uh. Okay, I guess I'm not supposed to go that way. Up this rope. Buddy, this is the Haxian Brood's best, or whatever that's worth. But she didn't come alone, and I don't remember any rules on Ordo Eris. Things might get messy.
I don't see anyone else. I just see those two. I feel like when I get here, it's a little too far. Scoot me over. All right. Glorious combat. <laughs> I'll never give in! The galaxy will know our story! Won't miss again. I'm gonna buy some time for him to get him get his shield back up. Joe's here too? No, 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 don't kill me. Hope that's the last of the hacks and brute will see. Let's get back All to right. the cage and be done with this whole bounty hunting business. That shouldn't count. Greasy money. I'm stuck here for so long. <laughs> I'm sorry. Should have done something. It goes into the other side, but I don't know what I can do. I can get to the other side of this wall. Looks like I can run on this too. Can I run on that? Oh. It's just for this. Enforcer. Um, can I get down there to be able to fast travel out? Oh wait, can I fix this? I, don't, I was looking at the wall run thing, but I couldn't figure out what it was. It's really weird. But I also didn't see a wall runny thing. Was it because it was like you guys wanted to see me fight a hard fight and I didn't do it? They gave me these powers, okay? I'm just trying to use them. Forces with me. Anyone watch me play Dark Souls? In Dark Souls, you do what you gotta do sometimes. Can I fast travel to the generator underbelly? Yes.
There's a huge secrety area here. Making the earnings. This is fun. <laughs> I'm glad they enjoyed it. Good find. All right, I want to go up there. Right up. I want to go up. I think. Is that Is that elevator? I think I've been here once before. Extra thing that I didn't do yet. You. Uh. Hey. Oh no! I didn't do that. I don't think you can do it while you run either, though. But they seem okay. Okay, I think we're good. I think we just do this. Push that instead of hit that.
Oh, close. A little help, buddy. That did the trick. All right. Quiet your chaotic voice. There will be need of your cacophony. Oh, it's Think you can outrun us? Hey, guys. Is this all new? Yep, that's new. Defend me. Wow. I killed them all. Can't believe I did that. Man, I lifted them into some of this. Yes, I don't work. To like, yeah, I do this. Oh, that's real high. Is that right? It seems too high, but it comes down. Oh, okay, okay. So I go up. And then I. Oh shoot, that one's not up. Oh, I made it. What's this? Ah, oh, cool. I can slice commando droids now, huh? That's why I couldn't do the uh, the one back there. This. Dude. Sweet. Okay. Alright, um, we'll just ride the, uh, should be just to my right. I think it's down to my right. Um, what's the easiest way to get over there? Jumped a little too early. I'm trying to do it. Oh, I tried. Thought I could make it. Didn't want to trigger. Weird.
100% explored. I'm missing a couple collectibles, wherever they are, but that's fine. At least we explored all the areas. Let's uh, head. I'll get back down. Enough. Ah, oh, nope. Right. Now we should be able to bash up <coughs> and see what happens with the end of the bounty hunt. Yeah, Eric plans on playing Survivor at some point, too. It's just a matter of when exactly. But he'll be doing it here on Wave Squadron. And then we can talk about it. I want him to play as much as you guys do, because it's fun to have someone to talk about this stuff with. It's been fun having you guys. But... Once wrong. we be able to get into like having like the Donkey Kong talking about it, that'd be fun. Let's talk later, Cal. Yeah. I must be alone now. The collectibles list. Where's the collectibles list? Or do you mean like uh, inventory? That you mean? I don't see them listed here. When will I play Mass Effect? Oh no, she's gone. Oh no. Is there one more bounty hunt? I'm missing a puck. I got oh, this shit. Dang it, we are, aren't we? That's back where we started, isn't it? Oh, shoot. Man, I don't want to fight her. I was hoping she'd, like, join the crew. I thought I was done with the bounties. We may do, uh... I mean, maybe I'll do Mass Effect at some point. I still got Dark Souls, though, I really want to go through. And I don't think... Any other of the any other members of the crew are gonna go through Dark Souls. Um, where was it? Was it here? No, that's the bog, right? It wasn't the bog. Here, here's where we go. Okay. I mean, I think I would enjoy Mass Effect. I like KOTOR and stuff. Um, alright, we gotta go back over there. Back to where it all started, right? Actually, I think I can go... No, this is the way I need to go. So back when we first met her, I think, was over here on the same platform. We fought a little bounty hunter. She showed up and watched us. I feel like we've had good camaraderie. I don't know why. Why is there a rumor? Like, what should I play more? Mass Effect? Or the Dark Souls series? Alright. There she is. Good, at least we get to talk first. Gone, Gage. Cow. Better. 
Now that you've taken down every hired gun that Silk Thomas sent after you. Yeah. Be good not to worry about bounty hunters for a while. Yeah. No. About that. Oh, come on, Cage. That's a good trick. I was just a bit off. No. It wasn't. What is this, Cage? How much did Sork offer you? Come on. Not enough. But then, every hunter we took down drove your value up. Now you're worth my time. Come on, Cage. You know how they tracked us down in the first place. Now you're getting it, bud. I've been known to hunt a bounty myself from time to time. Still, that was a big pool of contenders to carve through. I think you're the real deal, Jedi. Really want to do this after I beat find everyone out just else? How real? Not too late to put this behind us, Cage. No chance. Dang it! A girl's got debts, and I've been waiting a long time for this payday, Cal. Long time. But most of all, I can't stand all this damn place and quiet. Pretty good. <clears throat> I really want her on my side. Is it a one-shot grenade? His boots. Dark side power. Yeah, I like her so much. I don't I really don't want to have to fight her. This will be uh, interesting. Ain't nothing. Uh, ow. Uh. 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 
these again? That's so cool! This is what I live for. That's what you'll die for. I love these blasters. Ah! Uh, last chance, Cage. Please don't. Come on, Cage. Join us. That's not how I play. We have a phase two. Each other. We go way back. Wait, how about who's he here for? We're bringing this Jedi together, split the bounty right down the middle. I'm not here for the Jedi. <laughs> no, it feels good not to be the target for once. You have no idea how valuable this woman is. Well, when you put it that way. Listen up! Oh. There's two kinds of people in this galaxy. Those with live thermal detonators, and those without. I trust you boys can do the math. What are we doing? Oh, I love this. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Pal. oh I'm just gonna let him take me away, right? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> just, I don't wanna fight you, Boba. Go on. Very well. Ah, oh, the voice. See you around, Jedi. Ooh. Yeah, we got our pistol. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Out of retirement. Oh, look at that. Dude, this is so sweet. Can I talk to him? Yeah, this is a good find. Yes. Moving Jedi. And turn back. Boba Fett tracks Cage Vanda down on Kobo, but does not pursue Cal, leaving a sense of 
lingering unease between the two as he departs. Dude, may we get Boba in like a sequel? Bounty hunter. If I wanted you dead, you'd be dead. In case it hasn't clicked, Cal, this guy's not exactly a fan of Jedi. That would be an understatement. <laughs> Which begs the question, why team up with one? We had a common enemy, Cage. You. Make no mistake, we are not allies. I know, Jedi. I know what you are capable of. And I do not pity your fate. Oh my god, what do you good. want? I'm curious. How do you two know each other? Oh, the lady never tells. Our circle is small. Many choose the bounty hunting profession, but few survive. Her cage never seems to die. No, she doesn't. But her bounty will fetch a handsome price. Once Sork learns your role in taking down the Haxian Brood, who knows what'll pay for you. Listen, Boba, if credits talk, let's talk. My client's pockets are far deeper than your scum. You wanted to play this game, Cage. This is your reward. Leave me be, Jedi. Duh. I'm just taking in the view before I take in my bounty. <laughs> See yourself. We're done here, Jedi. Hope we never meet again. Got the message loud and clear. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I don't want to leave, guys. I just want to stay here. All right, I understand why we need to do the bounty. This is so cool. It sucks for the people with the glitch. No, I didn't know he was in it. I didn't get spoiled on it. That's I love it. Hey, you go away. It is the one when I did some shenanigans with those guys too. So that's cool. Ah, oh, so cool. I love it. I wonder how long he stays there. I wonder if I meditate. <clears throat> Is he still there? <gasps> He's still there. Can I talk to him? I'm gonna try to talk to him one more time. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Is there a way to check? Uh, do the chambers show up? The Jedi chamber things? Um, they're not one of the things on this list. <coughs> yeah, we're beating the story today. I want to go back here again. Ah. Uh, so, what if I tag him? Okay. The chamber that is not an actual chamber that I'm close to. Uh, where is it? I want to get the fish, and I want to get. Oh! Like, I don't think, like, you can have a boss battle with someone 
and not like kill him and win that way, you know? I think it'd be cool to be able to fight Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Uh... It's top right by the temple. The temple's this, right? It's over here by these green vines. Okay. Um, how'd I get there? That's right, I had to do this. over here the enemy is here uh, that's different <laughs> is it in here I don't think I've ever seen it I feel like I would have found it if it was in here but I could have missed it or didn't have access to something I needed yet Oh, it's outside. Okay. A very small ledge outside. Can I see it from here? Is it down or up? <clears throat> it's underneath. Down, like down there. Who was that? I see something down there. When you face the door to the cave. Okay, so I think that that is the temple thing. Is that it? What's that? this bird to get there <clears throat> oh shoot no, go up go up no we just slowly fall to the <laughs> all right we might need to we'll do this way and then we'll loop around This works. We're almost there. We're almost there. Yes. Yeah, I did not go here. <clears throat> Sweet. Well, hello. Do you? I want to do this. Oh, does it work? I need help, bud. All right. Hello. That seems impossible. Where'd you go, BD? 
Fallen Padawan. The emergence on Kobo devastated the planet and the High Republic settlement was no exception. As the ground beneath them gave way, many were caught in the erupting earth and crushed beneath the mighty masonry erected for their own betterment. Um, ooh. Nice find. Let's take this back to Z. Z's not there. Um... How do I get rid of these vines? Dang it. I think it's one that I can maneuver with, right? You gotta do that. I'm gonna move this. Um. Oh, can you come in to fight me? No, we're fine. Come on. Oh man, now I'm in combat. I'm not okay, at the Fight that guy. Leave me alone. Dang it. Just over here trying to solve puzzles and stuff. I think if I just put it there. Yeah, it looks good. That should be fine. Bird! Need a bird. <clears throat> Alright, we should be able to hop on here. We'll fly right through this here. Oh, too high, too high, no! Yep. Okay. Um, while I'm here, wasn't there a... Yeah, it's behind this. Oh. Dang it, just a forced air I've already done. Blast! Should be able to hop on you. <coughs> Rotate! Pivot! Alright, let's get this BD thing going. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh. Oh, that's it? Star Tours. What was that? That's all we had to do? That's like the whole puzzle? 
All right. Yeah, I'm assuming that's all the chambers since it dinged a little achievement, a little trophy. Oh yeah, there's tons of times I see circles and stuff now, and I'm like, that reminds me of the world between worlds. All right. There is only the force. Sweet. Got all the chambers. Got all the bounties. We're gonna fast travel back to Pyloon Saloon. We need to find the last frog as well. Um. Okay, let's go. <sighs> Could be like there. I need to go back to the... Okay, um... Shoot, where was that at? Down here, right? Oh, there's a place I've never been to up there. It's called the Alignment Control Center. <clears throat> we can go to that. Am I gonna miss? Oh, that's what these were. And I was just missing that one right there that was red. Oh, that's cool. So what does this give me? Good work, BD. I found upgrades are now shown on the hollow map. Oh, okay. Well, then I already have those. All right, where can I get this fish? Gotta find this fish. We gotta find a fish to bob a fishy time. Um, I just don't know which area to look in. The forest? Is it in the basalt forest, maybe? Which area is it at least in? Where'd you find the Nekos? Hmm, the Nekos were... <clears throat> um, somewhere over here, I think. The Neko Pools. Let's go to the Neko Pools. That sounds like a Neko place. In the go to the bygone settlement. Like I'd probably find it if I went or ran around, but I have a lot of time. It's already eight. It's already thirty. Jeez. So those terminals are. The well, last time I was in there, one was red. Like one terminal. And now they're all green. So each of those terminals must represent um, oops, uh, each of the, the chambers that I did. Hey, I'm over here by this. Ready to ride. Let's go, Neko.
trying to order my. I don't want the. Where'd I go? Let's run. Uh, yeah, seven sounds right. That's about how many. <laughs> okay, so this is just an extra little area here. Um. Which way should we go to find the, the fish? Never know where to expect scuba. There's the jaw was we found. Thanks, friend. Here we go. I'll see him there. Down this way. This says wa. Oh man, that was a like death. Oh god. That was death. Okay, I can't go down there. All right, it must be back towards the Neko pools, maybe. <clears throat> that would make sense. Back by the pools. I'll just let those guys fight. I don't know who will win that fight. Hey, there he is. Yeah. I think I was here before. Hey, Scuba. He wasn't. Notice anything different? Can't say I do. He's blue! Are you may ask? Scale, you old salt! Have you lost your rubber? Are you planning to cook yourself in the buttered jam? The thought crossed my mind. No, lad. I'll show you. <laughs> Scuba diving. <clears throat> Alright, Scuba Steve. You see that, lad? The blue finned crayfish is a fearsome warrior. Not just because his claws are sharper than the bristles on my lip, but also because it's as slippery as a shiver peen taking an afternoon dip. So, how do you fight slippery? By being muckle slippery yourself. I'll remember that next time I'm in a bind. Oh, and I've only just begun, lad. If you have a moment, I'll continue my tale. That's the tale! And I awoke from my last duel with Wanyak. It was on the deck of a fishing schooner. It seemed my speared carcass had bogged to the surface and been caught by a local fisher. What about Captain Wet? Did he survive? If that sack of seared slime yet plagues the galaxy, I've nay heard stem the stern of him, nor of his crew. Huh. Perhaps more importantly, the ordeal awoke me to the truth. I had no desire to spear fish, nor fisher. I had no desire to cross our pools with dread captains or to skewer the deadliest fish. In the hurly burly of it all, I. Well, I lost sight of myself. The fisherwoman who caught me, she knew of a nearby world with a great multitude of fishes. Kobo. So to Kobo did I go. And since, I've realized why I like to fish. Why's that? Because I like fish, Cal. I like shiny fish. I like big fish and small fish. I like fish with eyes splayed wide and fish with eyes pointed straight. I even like fish with no eyes at all. And I like seeing the face of lovers like you when they realize just how many kinds of fish there are in this galaxy. Well, that be my tale, Cal. Perhaps it was no as gloomy as I can. You went through a lot. I'm glad you're okay, Scuba. Oh, thank you, lad. Thank you. You've given me a lot to think about. Aye, lad. Go ahead and ponder. But don't ponder your years down the river. There's always, always another fish. <laughs> There's always a bigger fish.
Because I like fish. Yeah, right. Oh. Off we go. Let me help you. It's like right over here, right? On the other side. There's more scuba talk, was there? I didn't even try. I tried with Boba Fett. Droid? No, no, they, uh, they took leave of Miss Fort. Perhaps they were frightened by my crude gestures, eh? <laughs> I'm glad you're okay, Scuba. Keep an eye out, Cal. There'll be strange folk in these waters. You know right. your way around Kobo, don't you? Get back over to... What's it called? Get out of the way, you stupid! Ah. System breach Neko. Stim BD. Alright, let's get out of here. Where are they fighting? There we go. We're gonna get up there to go. You go, Viper Droid. Need my Neko. <gasps> Seeds! Ooh. Can't see the Jawas anymore. Can't see them anymore. Wonder where we'll find them next. Let's head back to Pyloon. <sighs> I want to check out this gun we got. Blaster! That's the chair. It's an interesting looking pistol. 
We can stick with that, I suppose. Um, I guess we'll go with that. It might have been an echo. That might have been what it was, too. Alright. Open the door! I'm thirsty! Just gotta tell them what you want. Welcome, welcome. Make yourself at home. Talk later. Mm -hmm. Talk later. Mm -hmm. Let's talk later, Cal. Yeah. Talk later. Mm -hmm. Such a nerd. Why is there a shop with no one here? This look interesting. I'll take it. Last bounty pub. You got monk. Barkeep. What can I do for you? Hey, monk. Where'd you and Grease meet? I probably shouldn't say. Gambling then? That's right. I was tending bar for a sabbat game that Grease frequented. He was looking for a partner. I was looking for a change of venue. We got to talking, and before long, that was that. You could have found a safer place to make your credit. I'd choose the Bedlam Raiders over my old line of work any day of the week. Let's hope you don't have to make that choice. Till next time, pal. Talk later, buddy. Alright, this is my last talk with everybody. Hi, Cal. Later, BD. Later, BD. We'll talk some other time. No one has anything to say to me. Oi, Cal. I think it's time I told you more about the old days. Got a moment? Sure. All right. I think it's time you knew about Tendo Goat Bridge. We're off to a good start. Was Tendo sharp? No. Bloody idiot. Was he a looker? Well, people looked all right. The fella was uglier than a shiver peak. But old Tendo had one thing worth more than any of that. The bastard was plumb lucky. See, old Tendo goes and buys the worst claim in the region. That is likely to find a payday there as in your breakfast. But not two days later, that rocker blasts his way into a cavern crawling with priorite. Well, Tendo fills his arms with the stuff. Couldn't see the ground in front of him. Poor fool stepped right on his detonite charge pack. The blast turned his bones inside out. Jeez. How we all shared in the spoils. So much priorite, the whole bloody outpost didn't have to work for a month. But we all knew it was Tendo and his lucky tailbone that got us the first big find. Understand, Josh. Scuba! I've done it! A tank thrown in with the finest fish! A tale told to the utmost! An innocent young boy's eyes opened to the wide galaxy! <laughs> Something like that. What's next for you? I've been asking myself just that. In recounting my infamous annals, I've been. Ugh, something's gnawing at my inner slad. A black notion that perhaps, just perhaps, one yet wet is not truly dead. Mm. For Sakavitar, and for my own peace, I must know. Perhaps it'll be tomorrow. Perhaps a year from tomorrow. But I fear I must pursue my dread nemesis one last time. I understand. Hey, do you ever need anything? I know, lad. I know. The end? Scuva's tale may be over for now, but he's haunted by a hunch that perhaps Captain Wet is not yet truly slain. You're not getting anything for I'm doing all the fishy stuff? Now. I'm gonna get this awesome tank, I guess. 12 of 12! Great to see you. Oi, Cal. Good to see you. All right. Well, I think we head to the Mantis and fly out, guys.
Ah! Curse you, Garden of Evil! I'll share its details. The plants need me. Okay. Off we go. Uh, Doma, last time I was there, didn't have anything. We'll go look real quick. I went to Doma before, and she didn't have anything except for shopping. So I don't know if I've gone through all the story with her or what. Hello there. Hey. Oh, I can't believe Grok's gone. Did you know him, Cal? Not uh, very well. Did you? Ah, uh, I did. Our relationship was a fair bit contentious. The fool was always trying to sweet talk me. He was incorrigible. But, well, now that he's gone, I guess I miss him coming in. I never told him. I know the feeling. Is that right? Yeah. Ah, what a galaxy. Ah, you got a keen eye for good product. That right. Yeah, but you know the product, that's only part of the sale. You're also buying what's behind it. What do you mean? Well, every item has a story. One that carries from owner to owner. The history persists, embedded inside every object. You can find it in a chip cup or a greasy handprint on a towel, even. They all remind you that someone was here once. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Hmm. Quality wears 100% guaranteed. Oh, I knew that one would catch your eye. Looks good to me. I'll say. All right, the only thing I don't have are all these haircuts. Take care of yourself, will you? I'm missing a force tear? A new specimen? Fascinating! Finish planting it and I'll tell you what I know. It's not here. Is it on, like, Coruscant? All the way back at the beginning, and I did that one, right? Wait, what? Force tear, percent, percent, error, void tear, name. Didn't I do that one? I didn't give up on that one, right? Wasn't that one the Rancor one? What, Jetta? Uh... Completed that one. Completed that. I didn't do that one. Oh, oh I thought I was gonna die. All right, should we do the force tear, guys? Or should we go to Tantalor? What do you guys think? So next, maybe... I'm just gonna start flying to Jeddah until I see I what chest is. I didn't know Eno Cordova that well, but oh. I miss him all the same. He seemed like a nice guy. He was very wise. But I will remember his kindness most of all. I feel bad for BD. All that time apart, now Cordova's gone. It's all right, buddy. No, did you Q and A? 
Oh no, I didn't. Okay, there we go. Sit down, kid. It's time to land. All right. Giving you guys just a second on the on the pole. If I wear a poncho while I do the tear. Let's land, because they said to land. Do I have my poncho still sitting? <gasps> so far away. Man, where's my cool poncho? Can you even see this this poncho? Hey, kinda. I do have a poncho. Why do I have this poncho? No one knows. Did I ever hit the training dummy while wearing a headband? This training dummy? Do I have a headband? How do I... Is that a hair thing? I don't know if I have a headband. Yeah, I don't have one. Mullet, bun, scrapper, crew cut, undercut, slicked back. Yeah, I'm missing a lot of hairstyles. I don't know where you get that one. I don't have a headband. Alright, where was I where was I supposed to go? Not that one. It was this one? Nope. This one? Yeah, that one doesn't say completed. And it's just right next to this time-worn bridge. That's not that far. We're gonna do that real quick. Cletus Kestis? <laughs> Alright, what was it? Oh, dude, open skills and did. I think it was Time Worn Bridge. There's four force tears on Jeddah. I think I've already done several of them. Had to move. This one says fractured cunning. There's one. That one says completed. Two. There's one over here, which I did. That one says completed. Three. And uh, this one over here, which says completed. Four. Right? So there's just this last one, which I need to go. Uh, I need to get up to the mainland. And then up there. And you go up and up. This up. Is this way up? Take me up there where I need to go. Been here before, but I couldn't go through this, right? 
Ah. There's something here. Oh my goodness. Bird power! Bird power! Yes! Maybe I did try this before, but I didn't have any perks in my fighting techniques. Nice throw, Peter. You do that, and you come here. I'm branding. Barely felt it. Crazy. Easy, man. Not good enough. Too quick. Oh. Show me who's boss here. Fight with me. What have we here? Oh, missed it. Oh, I'll get you. No, my R1 button doesn't work again. Dang it. I have to reset after this uh, thing, too. Uh, I really like being able to... Dang it, I want to get rid of that guy's shield. Here. Can't do the lock-ons anymore. I can't even shoot my blaster. Are you kidding me? It's hard to fight without force powers. Once I get to my save point, I'm gonna save and reset. More in Dredger's Gorge. Didn't I do Dredger's? 
Wait, it, you said there's four of them, right? I have four of them completed here. Where's Dredger's Borgs? Oh, it's on Kobo. Dang it. <sighs> Where do you want to go? All right. Let's go to Tantalor. We should go next. Ooh. I don't know if it matters too much in the grand scheme of the story or anything. It gives you skill points, but I don't necessarily need skill points. into something whoa that's cool all right and then um single bladed Great cross guard looks pretty cool though. Game is saved. We are going to close the game, <coughs> reopen it, just to make sure I have my force powers and everything back. It really sucks doing the blaster stance and not being able to push triangle to use your blaster. So. It only gives you like, I don't know why, but whenever I have that glitch happens, it won't let me uh, adjust my lock on. So my lock on can go to one, but to switch it, I have to turn it off and then back on. And then uh, my R1 force powers, like the whole R1 thing doesn't work. And then for some reason it doesn't let me like throw sabers or shoot bullets. Don't know why, just that's what it does. And it's always in the tears is when I always seem to have that issue. I don't know. All right, load in hyperspace. That's cool. All right, confront Bode on Tanalore. There shouldn't be anyone there, right? It should just be we go there and he's there. Oh, I said to use the hollow table. All right. Time to go. Should we change lightsabers or outfits or anything? I like this lightsaber, though. I don't like the pistol as much, though. He just pistols cool and all, but I like the other pistol look. We should change BD so that he has little ears, though. I have him on the... Uh... uh there we go. He just took too long. All 
That one's kind of cool. I think I like that one. Let's go with that. I definitely want little ears. I like the solar ears. Though the industrial ears are kind of cool. Look at those. Kaminoan body. And legs. I like these legs. Um, let me get like some really cool new ones. Oh, that's a that's a green. Look at that. Be rubber, hard leather. Ooh, wood. Real wood. Kobo wood? I kinda like this real wood. It is really bright green. I don't know if I'm in love with the green yet. I feel like the grip should be the wood. Let's find a better primary color. What goes good with wood? More wood? Look at these Coruscant paints. That's kind of cool. And the Imperial colors are pretty cool too. We'll do make it a wood or a leather, and then maybe we'll no. Oh. Scar steel. Hmm. That's kind of neat. Very different than what I used to have. Might be too much good wood. Luck.
There are three different color grays, but it kind of just makes it look kind of neat. Maybe we leave it with that and make this one back to the... It kind of like that. I don't know, do we want the wood? Or the gray color? Where's the gray color at? I think it's kind of cool. It seems kind of unique. But it doesn't necessarily look like it doesn't fit. I like the gold little accents on it. We're gonna go with that. It's durable, right? Very different. Uh, how do I change my blade? I go back to my white. I know, I do like the wood. Let's just do this. Which wood though? Darker wood? That's kind of cool. I think I like the grill. You know what? No, I don't. I like, uh, I think it was the Inquisitor paint, right? I think it was this. I'm just gonna go with that. I think I like the gray. And then, uh, I need to get rid of this. I need to change it up. The scope's pretty cool, though. Let's go with the scope. I want the grip to be wood. Primary color should be... Huh. No, go back. I hit the wrong button. Yeah, I had a lot more of the green boba kind of colors to it. Sheet green and stuff. Looks so beat up. I don't want it to look nicer. Ah, here we go. Ooh, ooh, that's very different now. That's what we need to start with. I don't, I'm not in love with this top anymore. Whoa, look at that. You know what? Sure. Look at that gun. Do I think a sequel solo movie should be made? Yes. Like, I, I think that there should be more stories there. Let's go see what we can find. I know people had issues with the movie and stuff for whatever reasons, but needs more. All right. 
We're heading to the abyss now. Do Z. Fire up the arrays. I'll be monitoring your progress from here. May the force be with you all. And you see. Well, what do you think is taking Z so long? Dagon Gera was the only person to live through what we're about to do. At least we will die together. Let her take her time then. Hey, great pep talk, kids. Hopefully they can fit that on my tombstone. Look. That's what all the other poor saps said right before they were torn in a vortex chow. <laughs> Good job, Breeze. Oh! Great. Now it's an obstacle course. <laughs> it's kind of like Solo and Rebels together. And Clone Wars. Clone Wars, they went through a nebula and they found stuff in it. But you are faster. Rebels for the Lasat. Piloting. He starts flying. I'm rerouting power from deflectors to the engines. What are you crazy? Oh. You're trading safety for speed. Exactly. We're all in on you, buddy. Come on, Grease. You're right. It's my ship, ain't it? Greasy does it, baby. Greasy does it. <laughs> I love the wing like going around him. Hey, wait a minute. Is it me or is this tunnel getting a tad cozy? It's not just you. Z, what's going on? Do you mean the overloading? Oh, shoot. We need to go faster. I'm going as fast as I can. Faster. Wait, wait a minute. Are you crazy? If you jump in a hyperspace blind, they'll be picking up pieces of the man that's all over the outer rim. Do you trust me? No. This seems crazy. No, I do, Cal. Duh. Okay. Let her ride. We're going to use light speed? <gasps> now. <laughs> Sears thing. I don't know why that took me up. <laughs> oh. 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 You did it, you three armed son of a gun dark. <laughs> well, at least none of us lost our cool. <laughs> wow. Uh. I hope it's worth it. Ah, <sighs> oh, man, no, I like that seer being like, now. No, Daniel, you're right. It's like, it's like, uh, Luke. Let go, Luke. Trust only in the force. Ah, oh, man. Oh, we've been here before, baby. So, this is it. 
Tantalor. You and Mary be careful out there, okay? Yeah, yeah, you too, BD. We'll all be okay, Grease. I'm gonna hold you to that, Cal. I don't plan on living out my days on this rock, especially not with that traitor. We'll be back soon. Always something to do, huh? All right, let's save here. Oh. We're fast traveling here. It's over here. Big old stick, or not stick, a uh, pillar. <laughs> stick could be a pillar, I guess. Overlooking a natural uh, vista, Jedi of old often frequented this spot to clear their minds and find calm within their cells. Nice view. Not very far away. I don't know what to expect here. Are we gonna have anything to fight? Or is it just straight on through? So this is Tenalor. Not what you were expecting? I don't know what I was expecting. So much has changed since I first heard its name. Let me get seeds here. Oh, there's something back there! No! What was it? Droid, right? High Republic droids. A now obsolete Republic droid fallen during battle with the Nihil invaders of Tanalor. The droid gave a valiant defense of the planet. I wonder if this will be mentioned in any of the High Republic books at all. Or if we'll have, uh, I don't know if she is. She may already be in it. Uh, what's, what's her name? Sh Shanti, right? Master Shanti? It would be ridiculous. If I went back there and Scuva's just chilling there. The temple's this way. Dagon and Centauri Cree planned their future here. And look where it's Centauri Cree. That's what I'm thinking of. I don't know what I said. I don't think I said that. But... Will not let this end peacefully. He has already used fatherhood to justify betrayal and murder. Now we have him cornered, with nowhere else to run. He will kill or be killed. Well, say something. Whoa, what was right. that? But what about Cotton? She's not much younger than we were when our families were taken from us. I know. You and I will carry that loss for the rest of our lives. But Kata still has a chance. Yes, she does. Very well. We will give Bo the choice to stand down. For Kata's sake. And... I don't know what to expect that happens here. What is this? The unexpected invasion of Tantalor forced the Order to flee their new sanctuary. Now the Nihil discovered Tantalor, or, or how the Nihil discovered Tantalor remains a mystery. Hmm. I mean, they do have, like, hyperspacey things, but, yeah, I don't know what, how they found it. Better. Oh, she's like, Hopped around up here. Yeah. 
This place is really cool. I keep thinking about something Seer once said. A warning. Every Jedi faces the dark side. I feel so much hatred towards Bode. Seer won her battle with the dark side. You will too. He's still here. Good. Um, I have this now, so I don't need to go anywhere that I don't need to go. It tells me where things are. Is that a force echo? I want to know more about what happened here on Tantalor. Fall back to the temple. The Nile are enveloping our position. Master Gera, that is an order. Master Gera. The Jedi led by Dagon Gera make their last stand. Ill-fated stand against the invading forces. And I had one more... Oh. A tri-pointed water feature built to symbolize the three core pillars of the Jedi Order. The Force, Knowledge, and Self-Discipline. Jedi strive at all times to gain mastery over all three. Opo Rancis. I don't remember the name, guys. What's it from? Opo. From the High Republic? Did we have Opo in the High Republic? And I just don't remember? It's been a little while since we read the books. Do you hear that? Fata. What? No. Is he really? That Oppo? The... I remember he had... Yeah. He wasn't on the council in the, uh, the later stuff. He was, uh, was he like Yaddle? I'm trying to remember, I remember him being in episode two. So I don't think it was easy to do, like, the, the sneaky thing. But he had, like, a really cool chair, right? He had, like, a hole in his chair, so it looped around and stuff. Was he in episode two? I thought they removed him because all the council members came and fought. Hey, one. Hey, Katza. This is Marin. She's a friend. I'm sorry, Papa hurt you. Yeah. He said I'd never see you again. What are you doing here? Kata, your father stole something very important. We're gonna ask him to give it back. Will you show us the way? <sighs> okay. Follow me. I don't know what we're gonna do with Bode and Kata. I don't wanna have to I kill her dad. don't like it here. Dark and lonely. You don't have to be afraid. Yeah, Mary, that's not creepy. You're very pretty. What's Bo doing? Oh. They built some stuff here. There he is. What's he doing? Kata! 
How did you get here? It wasn't easy. You shouldn't have followed us. Papa, don't! Stay back, Kata. This is the only way to keep you safe. Why? She will be safe. I promise, Bode. But listen to me. It's over. Lay down your weapons. This planet will be a haven for those hunted by the Empire. Including Kata. Including and you. you. But you have to surrender. Now. Go outside, Kata. Bode. Send them, please. Jeez, Bode. So blinded by... It. I don't even know. I will decide what's best for my family. All right, it's Cage all over again. So high up in the air. Ooh, dang. Oh, no, no. Uh, heal. Why does it keep saying to hit square? Back it up, back it up. Yo, I know this. Should have stayed on my dual wield so I could like interrupt some of the things, but I don't know why I had a square, so I kept pushing square, but I feel like I should have been shield like blocking. But I didn't block. Ooh, man, didn't let me get this before. Our decision is final. Master Ancesis, please. He has the will to fight. And I admire it, but it is not only his life we would risk. The ships are leaving. There is no time. I suggest you both join us. Last plea. Faced with the imminent abandonment of the planet, they toiled to reach Dagon and Centauri Cree. They toiled to reach. Dagon and Centauri Cree make a final impassioned plea to the Jedi Council. Ah, read that one. All right. All right, Bode, let's try this again. Oh, jeez! Thank 
you. No, quit. Distract him. I will strike from the shadows. Fred Tascatori, yeah, I know him. I can picture him anyway on uh, IMDb. Stupid saber keeps on flipping around. Buddy. Oh, get him! Okay, so this is why I was supposed to push square before, I guess, huh? Dang it! Ooh, there's that. when he does this. Okay, give me my dark powers. No! Dang it. He takes a lot longer to do that than I thought. Oh, dodge. No, oh, dodge, dodge. Dang it. Attack from the shadows more! Pistols. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. I hate that move. I'm gonna die. Oh, not yet. Okay. Heal, heal, heal. Almost dead. You can't beat me, cow. I need help. What you got, Captain? Stand still. Dang it! Dang it! I only need one more hit! Oats are strong! No! 
Thank you, Marin. Thank you, Marin. But all we're doing, we're still trying to save your kid. And you're trying to kill us. Oh, it's getting dark. No, no. Dang it, Bode. Throw his guns away. Break them. Ooh, they look broken. No more pistols. Now he's holding a different. Oh, what does that do? No! I only have one more heal. I gotta use it. Ah, oh, jeez. Trying to get my lock on. Ah, oh, dang, man. I hate when that kind of stuff happens. Oh. oh, it goes low. Oh, comes first. Dang. All right, let's do better here in the beginning. Thank you. Thank you. There's three. Want that one? Want that one? Ugh. Mess with her. I will strike from the shadows. Disappointing. All right. Phase one done. much longer than I thought it would. I, I need to count that one or something. Okay, now it pops out real quick. Dang it, oh, I did it again? Second. 
No! Wanted one heal. That's all I wanted. Apart. I was trying so many times pushing that button. Never, I can never get that move. That triangle button thing. Ugh. Heal. Try it never works. Heal. Come here. It's over. No. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That worked better. Ah! 
shield back. <laughs> oh no! Shocked! Shocking! Dang it! No! Dodge too early again. Dang it! I just got up. Let's do this. Help me, dude. Nope, I did too early again. Every time. Every time. I can't. I always, always do it. Stop. Ugh. Almost had it broken too. Stay away from Kata. Oh, okay. <coughs> what do you got? What's next? Oh, jeez. Okay. Ready? Not long. No! Get out of there, heal. Low one, okay. Dang, 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 dang. Oh my gosh! Everything he does is red. Everything. There's no breathing time. Wait, where? I thought my thing was full. Why is it back to being empty?
No! Dang it, I was trying to heal. Nah, uh, Marin's not helping too much. Um, I didn't look at my perks. I could look at my perks. We don't need that one. Oh, I have this one now. You will break. Oh, what? I don't know the cross guard very well, but we're trying it. Tackle! get to that thing there. Oh, what? Oh, oh my gosh. Please heal, please heal. Oh, 
No, too soon. Dang, I should jump when he does that. I gotta watch when he takes his lightsaber and puts it away. Good. All right, that worked out. I'm worried about this last part. Worried. Get up fast enough. <sighs> that last part's so hard. It's just like a big, relentless attack after attack. They're all red. Why didn't he throw it? it? Took so long. You can't beat me, cow. that they don't ah, every time can't can't do it you can't beat me cow it is you stay away from Kata Mom's got him ah, 
I mean, this I like this a lot. It's really cool, but. Gotta heal again. Ah, oh, dang it. Dang it. Dang it. the rest of my dark side powers. Come on, is that the end? All right, what do we do? Don't put this on your daughter. Code, we know what it's like to grow up alone. Please, listen to them, Papa. All right. And when the Empire comes, will you be able to protect my little girl? I'm sorry, Kada. Don't I do it. Tried. Dang it. Dang it, Bode. Come on, you're gonna kill your daughter. Oh, uh, BD. Uh, something. No, Marin. Don't kill Marin. He's about to go all dark side on him or something. No, I got <laughs> Gave him so many chances, man. I didn't want to do that. <sighs> the beginning, in the middle of the fight, at the end of the fight. Kata has no parents. <coughs> I don't want to do that. I don't think Cal wanted to do that. How are you feeling? Better. I wonder if Thanks. she's force sensitive too. Good. We should speak. I was not much older than you when I lost my family. <sighs> For many years, I carried this pain. I did not want to feel better. Why? I thought if I let go of the pain, I would be letting go of the people I love. But I was wrong. And one day, 
I met someone who also lost his family. Together, we found another way to survive. The pain is yours. It is part of you. When my mother died, it changed Papa. And me too, I guess. Yes. But it does not have to define you. And you must not let it consume you. That's the only thing she had. <sighs> BD for Cord Cordova and Grease for Sia there. I mean, BD has connections with everybody, but... <coughs> Man, they are sprinting around. moving. walk my own path when I needed to. You taught me what it truly means to be a Jedi. Now you're gone. We will continue your legacy, Seer. We will build something that can outlast the Empire. I promise you that. I promise. <clears throat> but I'm scared. I almost lost myself. I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know 
if I'm ready for what comes next. Found Tanalor. <laughs> Tell. Guide her through the darkness. Man, I like this. Ooh, I like this game. <laughs> Story is really good. Seer stuff. Parts of it that I like don't like are still just good as far as story goes. You know, I don't want people to. I don't want to lose, you know, Seer or Cordova or I don't want to kill Bode. But <clears throat> there's. Bode had the chance when we came and talked to him. His daughter tried to reach out to him. When his daughter was in danger and Marin saved him, it still didn't stop him. Like, there's just so many times that he could have done anything and he just... just didn't. I think everything's hitting and I'm trying to <laughs> it's uh <clears throat> the ending's done really well I like it a lot oh, man. I don't know what it means for uh for Cal we have Kata um I don't know if that's gonna be I mean I assume that's who she is for about protecting her from the dark side, but I doubt it's for Marin. I think Marin's kind of already faced that. That's what she's talking about with Kata and stuff too, but Jeez. I like uh I like at the end Seer has a. Uh... she has that one little moment there at the end where it's like she's still kind of there. And even when Cal's gonna do the uh the hyperspeed <laughs> the hyperspeed element of it is uh <clears throat> really good when she tells him what to do, you know? But, oh man, I get a drink. <sighs> and there's so many, so much possibility for them to find Tantalor and for that to be like a hidden place that they the path led to, you know, to have people where, like, what happened to Quinlan, you know, that he was involved in the path, you know, like, could he make it to Tantalor and all these other members of the path? I'm wondering if they still try to go that route, if Cal and Marin said they were still going to maybe do that. Oh, did I miss all the voice actors already? I wasn't looking. <clears throat> but no, done really well. Yeah, Quinlan, Reva. 
Like, that would have been really cool. Maybe they don't do that. Maybe they do do that. Maybe, maybe Cal takes Kata as a apprentice. I'm assuming she might have force powers. Like, I assume the the wife's sacrifice maybe wasn't just for Bode, but also for their kids, you know? Uh, Cake, I don't think we have we saw Quinlan enough. And if you haven't, you need to read uh, Dark Disciple, and I bet it would change your mind. Read Dark Disciple if you have <coughs> it. was the... It was the... Clone Wars arc I wish you would have had. Was my favorite stance? It's dual wield. Dual wield is so much more mobile. I love being able to just tap that L1 button. Um, and being able to try to, like, I think it's when I did best of getting my dodges in and stuff. But man, I could not dodge that blow up move that Bode had every time. <sighs> sure, the guider through the darkness. I figure it's. Catherine. I figure that's who it is. Is it possible that's something else? Maybe. But. How do I see this integrating into a live action? Um. <clears throat> well. I don't know if there could be a possibility of Cal surviving through the original trilogy. Uh, Tantalor gives you a very good possibility of that if they grow Tantalor to be something like that. Um, if if he's just out adventuring before, I mean, <laughs> having stuff like Star Wars, uh, a solo story. I'm gonna try this down a little bit. This music's pretty good. But, uh, what's, uh, what kind of adventures did he do with Saul Guerrero, you know? Could you have something that involves Saul Guerrero um, and Cal shows up? This is the thing I don't want. I don't think we need a Cal show, right? What I think we do need uh, is just Cal's presence somewhere. Uh, I think having Cal who looks just like the actor who plays him. Um, dang, what's his name? Cam Cameron. Cameron something. I can't remember what it is. But I think having him involved in <clears throat> whether it's maybe he's still around in the times of Mandalorian and we see him around then. Or we do something with, um, shoot, who played Solo? Uh, Aldrin? Is that right? Using him, Solo, using Kira, using Lando, get uh, Glover back to do Lando. You know, having something that happens and then having Cal maybe involved. Knowing Cal has worked with Saw, you could connect him into a whole lot of rebellion kind of stuff, maybe. Cameron Monaghan. <clears throat> Love to see a trilogy of Cal. Well, I imagine what we might have... Star Wars is big on trilogies, you know? So we could have it where maybe the Jedi series is going to be a trilogy of games. Maybe we do three three games for Cal's story. There's his... There's his, finding Cal, right? And him getting on the path. There's this. And then there's maybe like the wrap-up of his story, you know? But I think I think that they should utilize. We talked about Solo earlier today. Um, I think Alden and Glover are people they should use. And Kira, while they have them, and they're not too old to play roles that take place in that 18-year <clears throat> period. Honestly, it's not even that. What is it? Solo's in... I want to say Solo was like five years after episode three. Is that right? It's not ten years. It's before this and uh, Obi-Wan, I think, right? <clears throat> but if that's the case, if it's like five years after, you only really got like a ten-year period of time that you could kind of do and show those without uh, 
without a having kind of like the Mandalorian Mark Hamill kind of thing, right? Where it's like, well, now we can't really tell any stories in between or anything because we don't have, you know, we have obviously this Mark Hamill's older. You get them, they get too old, then it's like now we got to digitally de-age them or something like that. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <clears throat> so all these actors they have, I hope they utilize them while they can, right? Look at all these artists, wow. Seven years, five years, yeah. It's somewhere in there, I think. <coughs> but yeah. Curious what the next villain could be. I was, I will say, I was very surprised to have the High Republic being utilized as much as it was in this story. I'm glad that we started reading some of the High Republic stuff, and uh, I'm excited to get into more of those. Right now, though, this book and next book will be Thrawn-related. Uh, we'll, we'll do the first trilogy for sure um, <clears throat> of Thrawn, which I believe the sixth is when we're going to have it. Sadly, we're not going to have one here in June. Um... But on the 6th of July is planned to be when we talk about Thrawn. So. See, what will be cool is um, having Boba Fett show up in here, which was awesome. I love that too. Um, even just for that little cameo moment there, you know. Um, I would love to... Uh, I'd love to maybe see Boba Fett involved maybe a little bit in the next one. Maybe you have to fight him, but you don't kill him, you know, or something like that. I don't know. Could be like an extra boss fight. Uh, we should be able to have the Thrawn books done before Ahsoka. At least the first three. Um, I'm pretty sure they all kind of work together really well. I don't know about the next three, because I think there's six books total. I mean, I haven't talked to them about it yet. Um, I haven't talked. I haven't been able to talk to anyone about this. I was talking to Jake, and then he's not played for a little while, so I don't know. We'll see. But I figure what will probably happen. Oh, that's not crazy. Uh, we'll probably have Thrawn books and maybe the Ahsoka book all for August. Hopefully, or we'll be reading the Ahsoka book while Ahsoka's going on. I think Ahsoka comes out the end of August. So it's possible we could have Ahsoka um, maybe in September while the Ahsoka series is going on, perhaps. We'll, we'll see. I don't know how much that book will be uh, crucial or anything, if it will be at all. I've uh, gone through it before for Ahsoka, but Thrawn I'm excited for. Uh, I didn't really use the cross card that much. I switched it there at the end, and I tried to I tried to switch back and forth in the middle of combos because I figured it would be harder hitting on the blocking element of things. Um, but uh, yeah, dual wielding was my favorite. The throwing of the sabers is great. Uh, I love the force powers. Getting the dark powers there was really cool where it's not just a slow it's like a releasing of dark energy and stuff. Oh, so that was really cool I love that yeah I get you Joseph uh, the thing the thing I hate the most is that he was there from the beginning doing that it wasn't like as the story unfolded he was worried of the inquisitors finding us and decided that he was gonna turn us in or anything like that he just he was a spy from the get-go and that's probably why Coruscant failed as well so it's just been that's that's the one of the worst parts of that I wish it would have changed because of his kid it still was there because of his kid the whole time he was doing stuff but then it turned into now I can do this 
for me, take advantage of this, destroy the people who have been doing this, kill the people that are doing this. And he just, I don't know. I feel like if my kid was telling me to stop too and we could all just live there together, maybe we'd go that route, maybe work together. But I don't know, maybe he was just too far gone. Like Kata said, like he was different ever since mom died. Just maybe more on the dark side of things. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think, Logan, like, I don't think there's... It's like uh, Dark Souls, in a way, right? How many weapons are in Dark Souls? There's pole arms, there's, like, great swords, there's magic, you know? And everyone has different ways of playing and having fun with that. And it just depends on what you like, what fits what you want to do, you know? Um, I think the next one should probably be, as far as villain-wise, original. I like what they did here with the original villains. Ravis was real cool. I'm so glad to do that. Hey, here's the acting talent. Voice talent. Monk. So fast. Ah, uh, yeah. Man, it be, yeah, that sucks. I saw someone say like, the Boba Fett got spoiled in the credits for them, and I'm like, ah, oh, I see. Yeah, Star Souls. This is this is a souls like type of game. I mean, you see that in the design of how they uh, how they connect the worlds back into themselves and stuff. You know, you find an elevator and you pop back in, or you know, just different aspects of that. Uh, the combat, the uh, death and losing your XP. Um, there's lots of elements that are very similar to like Souls games, so I think this is a very good like step off point if you want to try Souls games. <clears throat> yeah, having Tamir Morrison is really cool. It could have been cool because of the timeline of this and how old Boba Fett would be if they got Daniel Logan, but I'm not against any other. Like either way, I'm not against either way. Mira Morrison's cool. Love him. Scott Lawrence's Darth Vader was really good too. Yeah. Yeah, 25, is that right? Uh, how old was he in... Attack of the Clones. Was he like 10? Con Wee's here. Did you hear Steve Bloom? Uh, no. I don't remember Steve. Who did? Who was Steve Bloom? Was he like Rick? Who, who voiced Rick? Did it tell us that? Yeah, Cage is kind of Cad Bane-ish. Double pistols. She does have those, like, flying boots and stuff, too. Well, yeah, in a few years for Jetta, but in between that time, like, <clears throat> do we jump ahead five more years? Do we have Cal doing stuff? Like, maybe what you need to do, 
Because in episode four, we have nothing about Inquisitors, right? I don't know of any stories involving Inquisitors after Luke Skywalker is around. Like once he's like in the Rebellion. Um, there may be, and maybe it's just stories that I haven't read or seen. But maybe what you do is you have Cal destroying the fortress or something like that. Like maybe it is the Inquisitors or la the last big bad that he tries to take out. <clears throat> Solo's before Cap. I want to say Solo was five years, but someone was saying it was seven years. <clears throat> I think this was like ten years, right? We coincide with Rebels and Andor. I mean, if you coincide with Rebels, you still got Inquisitors around. So you still have stuff going on there. See, there's more Boba Fett at the very top of French talent. Because it's alphabetical. So you can't even miss that one. I mean, it could be cool to have Cal show up in Andor. Even if it's like during like one arc, right? It's not like he's a main character in Andor or anything. But just having him involved, I think, would be really cool. <clears throat> Sure, there's a time jump, Shocktimus. There's him and Kira, and then he gets into the military, gets kicked out, ends up on, uh, where were they, Mudbin? And then goes from there, so there's a time jump. Some non-aligned groups? Um... Like, you just mean, like, not Rebellion and not Empire? <clears throat> Cal versus Maul. Um, I mean, it's possible that he shows up. You could have that, potentially. They're around in the same time. So maybe. <clears throat> I could see them doing five years. You have Kata, a little older. I don't know about War Between Worlds. Like, that's kind of in a Socus point. You know, I don't know. Liam and Sam voiced additional characters. No, I know who Liam and Sam are. Sam's, like, one of my favorites. Especially from the Critical Role voice acting group. Yeah, we did advance Cal and Marin's relationship. It did go further than what we did in the first game. And it's even talked about there with Marin being like the pain and what she was going through. And then she met someone and, you know, like there's like kind of putting the past behind and moving forward. And it's it's tough, but they've all lost someone right now, right? Grease, Marin, Kata, Cal, all of them have lost somebody. <clears throat> I am glad that we got Marin and we're able to take her with us a little bit. Um, the first game she was there, some, but not too much. Um, and I don't feel like you really got to know her very well. And this one, we get a lot more time with her and just some, even just running around with her and talking and stuff. I do wish you got a little bit more of that. I felt like there wasn't too much group fighting. Like you have Bode a little bit and you have Marin a little bit and then they leave you and you're just by yourself a little bit as well. So. Not much reference to the book in the game. I don't... I didn't catch, like, hardly anything from the book. Uh, there is the arm missing. And we know why his... Why Grease's arm is missing. Um, <clears throat> which also may kind of lead into why Seer has uh, left to Jetta and stayed there, too. Is what she was doing. Maybe she felt that she was a danger to the team. Um, and that her... Her thoughts and... Uh, attempts to like turn back a inquisitor 
was, was putting people in danger, you know? So, <clears throat> there's a couple things like that. This story had a little bit um, with, like, Marin and her trying to find herself and relationship-wise and stuff, too. Um, but no, not too much. The only other thing I think you could say is that anything additionally added to the hollow uh, table in the Mantis we know is also given to us by uh, a couple characters from the book, but there's there's not too much in it overall. I wish there would have been a little bit more. Maybe in the third one we have those people show up. Um, dang. I'm trying to remember the two the two girls' names. There was the stormtrooper lady and then the one we rescued. And I, I, I'm blanking on them both right now, but... <clears throat> Yeah, Alexa, as I was saying, like, I think the, I think a little bit of Marin's headspace and what she's doing is, there's a lot of, a lot of story involving Marin, which I think is nice to have because you don't have her in the beginning here and you didn't really have her much in the first game, so it just gives you a little bit more of that. How do I feel about Cal shooting Bode twice? Um, the first shot, I feel like he went, you see that Bode shot and Cal didn't because Bode's gun like psh, sparks, right? So his gun's broken and he tried to shoot and it doesn't work. Cal doesn't want to, but I think he hesitantly shoots Bode. And then the second shot is like, he's already hurt. What do we do? And I think Cal shoots him one more time. One, two, as like a mercy so that he's not being hurt. But also, uh, I think I think that he comes to the re realization that he just has he has to put him down. Like they've given him so many chances and attempts to, and he's not changing. He he pushed his daughter, you know, like he used the force aggressively against her, and that was like what was holding him together. So I think a mixture of it is like <clears throat> I think, I think it's a, a mixture there is that he doesn't want to, but it's also a bit of a mercy. But he also feels he has to. So. I thought it was good. Sure, Pikachu. Uh, that could be interesting. Now, that book there, if you if you did one after Battle Scar, it would have to take place while he's doing Saw missions without, with like the Mantis, no Grease, no Seer. No Marin, because they all left, you know? Have the uh, the twins in there? You think he looks at Marin because Bode tried to kill her and shoots him out of anger? That, that's possible, too. Maybe I just need to watch it again, try to get a better view of it. Favorite group in the game? Uh... I mean, I do like the hidden path and what they were doing there with uh, <clears throat> with the anchorites and just the path and trying to build everything back. Like, I, it sucks what Seer was doing and it all was nothing now. But Bedlam Raiders are fine. The Nihil, I think it's cool that they brought him into this. Uh, they came from the High Republic books first. But, man, we still don't know how or why they were able to find Tantalor. I mean, they do have some special hyperspace things, but yeah, I don't know. Was the collectible hunting satisfying to you? Um, uh, the thing I liked was exploring, and I like doing the echoes. I think that's a cool part of the game. Um, I don't know. I mean, everything I played and did, I had fun every stream that we did. So, I don't think that there's an element of this where I was like, ah, oh, this is dumb. I like the bounty hunting thing. I like going and finding Scuva. There's nothing There's nothing better than just, like, wandering around and being like, oh, Scuva's ship! And you go over there and you, you have a little conversation with Scuva. Like, I, I think that's so much fun. Uh, <clears throat> the puzzle aspects were cool. I like those. Um... What else? <coughs> um, you were 
return to Kobo in the next game or all new planets? Uh, I hope we keep Tantalor on. Um, I don't know about any other planets. Uh, I love going to the various planets. I love going to Coruscant. The opening was so good in this game. I think the opening was really good and the ending was really good. And there was a lot of fun stuff in between. Um, I kind of wish... I kind of wish there were maybe... Like, maybe there was another planet. I think, like, one more planet could have been really cool. But that's just me being greedy. Everything they gave us was a lot of fun. I love going through Coruscant. Going to Jetta was sweet. Um, Kobo was... I mean, I have no issues with Kobo. Just exploring this new planet. Especially things that are, like, seeded with High Republic stuff, right? A planet we've never heard of. So you can kind of just do whatever you want with it, right? I think that was really cool. Uh, kind of feel bad for Dagon. His story is foreshadowing of Bodes, even down to him using the same lightsaber. Dagon didn't get a funeral, though. True. Um, no, I get what you mean. I guess... Uh, I guess I kind of wanted a little bit more from Dagon. Though, the betrayal hurt real bad. Yeah, you know, I wasn't feeling like we were gonna be betrayed by Dagon. Uh, but yeah, Bode, Bode, Bode stuff just hurt. Um, college, yeah, I think so. I mean, do you still consider Anakin Skywalker a Jedi at the end of Return of the Jedi? If you don't at all, then okay. But if you do even a little bit, then I don't think what Cal does here removes him from being a Jedi. I think trying to do the right thing is definitely a hard hard thing to do, especially when you're fighting the Empire who is relentless and will do anything. And will even kill their own people, right? They have people... They've had people on planets or whatever that they're willing to just kill. Uh, shoot. Uh, Scarif, right? Harden didn't care. It was all for the Empire, regardless of where their people were, you know? <clears throat> Thank you, Kimmy G. Appreciate it. Uh, I think the hardest fights that I had were uh, either the double Ogdo or the double Rancors. I think those are the two hardest fights. I think they both took me about 50 attempts, thereabouts. Having battle droids was so good, too. Having another planet you go to that you know nothing about, you can kind of just do what you want, and it's so cool. A Lucre Hulk? Why not have a Lucra Hulk that these raiders take over and they reprogram these droids to be able to use it, you know? There are some great games this year. Between this, Tears of the Kingdom's really good. The new Spider-Man that comes out this year, I, I bet will be great. Like, I don't, it sucks because I don't think Spider-Man will win and I don't think this will win. Uh... This one with its glitches and stuff that it came out with, I know a lot of people had issues with it running and everything. I had so much fun with the game and everything. Uh, but the uh, Tears of the Kingdom just has so much and so many things they've done to it. I think it's... I think that's going to be game of the year probably. There's one more Force Tear that's harder than the double Ogdos and double Rancors. My la the last force tear I have to do. What was how many times for Bode? I did Bode under ten, right? Uh, 
I was yeah, Starfield comes out this year, right? That looks really good. I've heard a lot of people talking about Final Fantasy 16. I've never really played much of Final Fantasy, just uh I played a decent bit of seven. Cap. Congrats on completing the story and thanks for all the streams. I've really enjoyed these streams and getting to experience the game with you. Well thank you, Cap. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Hope everyone enjoyed it. Uh it's it's not it's not very often that we get such a lore-filled Star Wars game, I feel like. I hope we get it more often. I'm looking forward to Outlaws. And I think if that would be an open world, it's going to take me so many more times, I think. So many more streams to beat. But I'm definitely looking forward to it. That's, what, next year, I think? 2024, I think, is when it's announced. All right. We should do the force tear. You guys want me to do the force tear once we get back in? What time is it? Eleven? Dang! How long were these credits? I thought we. I thought I ended at like ten eleven. Read so many of the data banks for the Lord. No, man, it's so good. I didn't want to skip a whole bunch. It's it's different whenever they just like. Like, they're the little ones, but the bigger ones I like reading. I didn't read every single, like, creatures thing. Maybe I should have. I didn't read every bounty hunters thing. Maybe I should have as well, but there was there was a lot of fun lore moments in this. And things I forget all the time. I forget names. I'll remember characters sometimes, but I'll forget their names, too. Oh yeah, so many people worked on this. Do I think this game's better than Fallen Order? Yes. The first stream I had where it was like the the combat. The combat felt so much better than Fallen Order. The map had a little yellow line that showed you where you went. Loved it. Those two things. Just made me love the game from the get-go. Um, I tried to grab all the Force Echoes on the way. <coughs> we saw... We had a couple. We had a... Uh, I think we got... I think we got everything on the way. Unless I missed one somewhere, but... Fast travel is nice to have. And I, whenever I get to Spider-Man, though, I won't be doing any fast traveling. I web, web sling everywhere. Well, not exactly what we expected. But this place is our own now. Yeah, Grease. Yeah, I guess it is. Still got a lot of work ahead of us. It will take time to contact the hidden path. And yes. find the anchorites. And build a saloon. I mean, the place <laughs> is creepy, but it does have franchise potential. This belongs with you. Oh. It belongs with all of us. Then, kid, should we give it a shot? Yeah, let's do it. Ah, that's the spirit. Oh, that's great. Come on, I'll bet you're hungry. I'll make you something to eat. Did you ever have a scar stick? You like salt.
Journey complete. You have reached the end of your journey. However, the galaxy can be freely explored, and there may yet be secrets left to discover. New Journey Plus. New Journey Plus is now available from the main menu. All stances and cosmetics from previous games will be unlocked, along with some new perks and lightsaber colors. There's a red saber color. Any skill points will also carry over to your new game. Uh, free perks. Purity grants a massive increase in weapon damage for both friends and foes. Oh, jeez. Warrior replaces standard enemies with new, more difficult combat encounters. Trendsetter randomizes your cosmetics on death. Well, that's kind of cool. Uh... Go to your images and see what videos are automatically saved for you during the... Uh... You mean like... Where do they save those? Wow, okay. Scuba diving! That was the last of those things. Oh! <laughs> that was a cool moment. One perk of the job, huh? I guess whenever I put all the slots in. It's a trap! Oh no, bombs! Catch! <laughs> I don't know where it is. Alright, we need to go do a forced hair though, right? Time to see if that compass is still working. Why wouldn't it be? With my luck. It is a mechanical object. You have no control over it. Fair enough. Where should we take her first? Ready when you are. I just hope that compass still works. Where's, uh... Where's, there she is. Can I talk to her? No? Okay. Alright, so we gotta go back to Kobo. So next, let's go to... We got 96.5%. We're at 94%. I didn't take a lot of pictures. What's it like? Oh, lots of waterfalls. <laughs> Everything grows. Oh, like there's a thing. Ah, dang it. Oh, yeah, yeah. How could I forget Pylune Saloon? I'm the owner and proprietor. <laughs> Is there music? Yes. And they love to take requests. Okay. I hope they have Trandoshan Funk. That's my favorite. Trandoshan Funk? Do they have Trandoshan Funk? They don't have any Trandoshan Funk, do they? Hyperspace whiplash is a joke. Sit down before we drop in. Alright, let's go back to Tantalore and check out those. I'd love to check out some, uh. I hope that compass works. It will. Oh, look at you. So hopeful. Like a hope fountain or something. I love to hear, like, High Republic echoes. How you doing back there, kid? Fine. Thanks. Where is the kid? All right, make yeah. like a rock and quit moving around my cabin. I don't know if that works, Grease. But 
No, I, like, I was wondering where Kata was. And she's sitting back there, like where Bo usually sat too. All right, let's go see. Let's go see this thing real quick. Uh, can I see it on my map anywhere? I can. Okay, but we can fast travel there. Yes. Look at this place. Though. Bunch of post-game echoes. It's over here. There's stuff in the water. The water deep. <laughs> so dark. Is there only outside mine for Spider-Man 2? Oh man. I can't wait for Spider-Man 2. I love the idea of being able to switch between the characters. Kind of uh, GTA-ish, GTA 5. Um, I don't see any echoes in here. There's one. Jedi Edict on the foundation of the temple on Tantalor, the Jedi stand ever ready watching over the galaxy. I will A lullaby. A recording of Bo Dakuna singing a lullaby to his daughter Kata. <sighs> Man, I wish he would have stopped. What was he looking at over here? Can I go through here? Like, what is this? All right, well, I guess if there's any more force echoes, they must be out outside. Head back towards the ship and we'll just watch for any force that goes we find, I guess. If you visit Bode enough times on the Kobo's on Kobo's moon, you can hear him humming the song at one point. Oh really? That's kinda cool.
probably something here. sings a lullaby ghost star but dedicates it de dedicates a revised final line to his wife Taylor That was one day. There's all this room over here, but nothing over here. I wonder if they were gonna put something. Just didn't. I guess a lot of room. I mean, it's cool that there's like, but it's not even on the map. That's all for Tantalor. So is there a lot of things that pop up after you've beaten the game? Is that when they pop up? Like, I didn't miss these, right? The one on Jetta's good. All right. All this room over here. Alright. Well, if Tantalor's done, let's get out of here. We can head to Jetta. If the Jetta one's really good, we can try to hit up, like, at least hit up the really good ones and maybe get the Force Tear done before we wrap up tonight. something here. That's a neat idea, Jordan, yeah. So Jordan's idea is that if they build some kind of resistance or imperial safeguard area, right? Marin, you're doing some weird stuff. BD. Are you doing okay? I am sorry for your loss. Master Cordova was a good man. But, uh, could you have episode 9's call for help? I think you said we got everything, so let's just... Yeah. Could the call for help for episode 9 also regard people from Tantalor? It would be cool. It'd be cool if the Mantis was there and you just didn't know it was there yet. Let's get out there. All right, let's stop by Jetta. Bound for Jetta. I miss Seer. Yes, me too. Who is that? A friend oh. of ours, child. She is gone. Oh, I'm sorry. Seer would have really liked you, sweetheart. Oh, she was a special lady. Yes, she was.
I like that they don't blame her. They don't pin it on her dad. They just say someone we lost. That's all they say. Sure, I know the ghost is there. It'd be cool if the mantis well, was there. I don't think it is. But it would be cool if they thought about that and they looked and like, hey, look at that shit. Use that shit. Let's see. Hey, no, I can't talk to you today. All right, where if I was a Hey, here we go. You gave me a gun here, right? I can't believe how blind I've been. I know how to turn them. It's so obvious. Poor bastards in love. Bode finally realizes that Cal has feelings for Marin and simultaneously realizes how he can use that against him. There's probably one in here. Yep. agent who has located a terrorist cell on Jetta. Don't trust your scanners. Just follow this locator beacon's coordinates. There are multiple Jedi at this location. Inform the Inquisitorius at once. If Lord Vader wants Seer Junda, he better hurry. Damn. Bode makes the fateful decision to betray Cal, his crew, and Seer, summoning the Inquisitors down upon Jetta. For a moment, he almost decides against it. Dang. Dang, Bode, why didn't you? We could have been so strong together, fighting against the Empire. Is there another one somewhere? You have witnessed much of our desert, noble Jedi. Now, in the central desert, one more site remains. We've explored it. It was incredible. The Pilgrim Moon carries his spirit eternal on Kyber winds. May he always be with you, Cal. That's Let all on Jetta. A true treasure. I'll take it. I'm grateful it's in your hands. This will be useful. May it aid your travels, learned one. I'm gonna go with this one. Use it well. Young sage, walk in wisdom. All right. Well, see, this is why, like, exploration stuff is always really good to do. And I'm also finishing this probably much later than a lot of other streamers did. So chat may not have known a lot of this kind of stuff either, but rushing through the game and you miss so much stuff sometimes. Like your story's great, but I love the experience of just We must find the out. remaining anchorites. We will need them to make Tanelar our own. I'll take a look. When should we contact the path? Once Tanelar is secure. And we will need more compasses. Without Cordova, that'll take some time. Then you'd better get started. It is cold out there. It is always cold out there. I wonder how many of those anchorites survived. Seer trained them, so they gotta be tough. I'm sure some of them made it out. I found one. I hope you're right. You know, I never thought I'd say this, but it'd be nice to see one of them right about now. I hope they're all right. That's pretty cool. Let's take a look at... Um, someone said there's a Coruscant one, so let's go Coruscant. You said that Seer gave you the money to open your saloon, yes? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right, she did. I was short a few credits, started some small talk. Ah, I didn't even need to ask. 
She always just knew what I needed. I don't know how. Do you know where she found the credits? Nah. She never told me. And I never asked. I like the flashbacks of like talking about Seer and stuff, how things happened, the memories they have. It's the memories I think that are really cool. Just hearing the extra little dialogue about like the outcome of everything, and what they think, how they feel, even the tone after after it all happens. The tone on the mantis shift. Oh, I see one right there. Shifts so My magic so much. Has kept us safe for now. They will not detect us here. Coruscant is dangerous for us all. Be quick about your business. You know, I don't think you did all that bad a job looking after the Manus. You mean that? Apart from flying her into a Coruscant dogfight and past half the Imperial fleet. Oh, and then crashing her into an Outer Rim rock. You did okay. <laughs> You're never gonna let me forget that, are you? Not in a thousand Latero sunsets. No, not in two thousand. I gotta say, Cal, I don't feel good about docking the manage here. I understand. But you've got Marin to protect you. Oh, that's comforting. If any patrols come, take off. What, and leave you here? I can handle myself. We got someone else to protect now. Pylons and all neon. Oh, I can almost see it. Well, thank you, guys. I pre I'm glad you guys enjoyed the, uh, the streams and the journey through the story. I don't know how many of you guys have played it before, if you've watched other streams, or if this is your first time seeing any of the story. But I appreciate you guys joining Remember me for your it. your training. Which training? This crew is led by a Jedi. You must be in top form. This isn't the first time the ISB has tried to infiltrate Saw Gerrera's organization. I was always your best asset during the Clone Wars, and you know it. Bodes reports into Denvik. Prior to his first operation with Cal's crew, Denvik is unsure of Bode's ability to succeed where others have failed, but Bode has confidence. Is that the only one on Coruscant, guys? Or is there another one I should go get? Like, is there one over by, like, the ship crashing? That's the only one here? Okay. Yeah, so then we will fall back to the Mantis. Watching your fall, Fallen Order stream maybe buy both games yeah. with uh, me and Eric. That was, it was fun to do that. Maybe before, if they do another one of these games, maybe before it comes out, Eric and I can play through this together as well. Plot of course. All right, uh, Nova. Someone said has stuff. Kata, you're picking dinner tonight. Whatever you want. Really? Really. What's your favorite food? Mmm, my Gito casserole. Uh, uh, I can't make that. Blue puff cube. I. Okay. You know what? We're having the usual greasy grease loaf. If I don't uh. like it. Can we make something else? Sure, but I bet the man is here gonna love it. Merit, you heard him, right? Oh yes. <laughs> I like uh, I like kind of fitting in with the team. You think hyperspace whiplash is a joke? Sit down before we drop in. Playing as D Dagon could have been cool, kind of in the similar way of how you play Seer in the game, right? Should we really need to do. All right, the office and the quarters. I think we can fast travel to the quarters. I don't know about the office. Ooh. 
How did you and Marin meet? I visited her home planet when I was looking for something. She likes you. She didn't at first. I think people are scared of her. Are you? No. I like her. You know, Cal, just when I thought you couldn't find a worse place for us to go, an ISB base, really? Oh, trust me, Grace, I'm not exactly thrilled to be here either. I know, I know. I, I'm just being a little touchy. Besides, you didn't even see Fortress Inquisitorius. Now that's an Imperial base. Yeah, no thanks. Hurry up, would you, Cal? Sitting under Imperial noses like this makes me nervous. Yeah, we did do the, uh... The longer we linger here, the more danger we are in. I know. The Mantis is safe with me. I promise. Uh, we did do the, uh, the one where Vader gets Dinvi. If that's what you were thinking of. Let's fast travel then to... Here, the quarters. The flying moment against the, uh, the tri-squid okay. thing. Let's go. Cool. change. Besides, I don't want you distracted. Call it a contingency plan. I'm sure you understand. You bastard. Temper temp. When you deliver Seer Junda to me, I will tell you which Inquisitor killed your wife. If oh. you don't, I'll kill you myself. Hmm. A tense discussion between Bowden and Denvik, the ISB agent Strings Boat along, promising him to reveal his wife's murderer if he does as ordered. So that was part of the reason he did stuff, huh? Not just for protection of his daughter, but also... Is that the only one? We got some other ones when we came through before and found, like, rage ones and stuff, which was really cool. I like those. Hearing the fear of the stormtroopers from being killed by the dark side cow. I will keep guard, Cal. Do not worry. There's another one in the office? Besides the Vader one that we got? Alright. Another one in the office. Um, honestly, I think from here or maybe from hmm. where's the office at? I think it's that one right there so yeah I think it's faster from here I just want to get through here. I don't want to fight you guys. I just want to take this elevator. Bye. I think he's trying to run. There it is. It's been a long time since our days serving the Republic. I thought you were dead. What can I say? You taught me well. Maybe too well. What can I do for you before I call the guards? Uh, nothing for me. <laughs> you can keep her safe. Jeez. Is, what can I do for you? Uh, 
After fleeing Biren with his daughter, Bode makes a deal with his former handler, Lank Denvik, promising to do whatever it takes to keep her safe. Also, did you guys see all those guys show up out of that elevator when I came back down? Alright, come here, come here, come here. Good. How you do that? How do I do the? How do I do like the big wave thing? Not that. How do I do it? I don't know what buttons to do. It. Somehow I can I toss a big old force field. Not force field, like a, a force wave. It's what Bo did to me. That kept on killing me there at the very end, of the third phase. But I don't know how you do it. Focus. All right, let's. Get to yeah, I can look them up. I also need to hurry and find these things before we wrap up. It's already eleven thirty. <laughs> Jump and then heavy attack. You sure, Kobo? We gotta go to Kobo. All right, where? Let's pick our next destination. I want to find the the things and go to the force tower. Have you been many places in the galaxy, child? No, it all seems so big and scary. I will protect you. Hey, what am I, Ross Jazz Steak? I have never seen you fight, not once. I'll have you know. I was the hero of the Lateron Space Academy. <laughs> you two are good friends, huh? <laughs> Dude, is it possible that Cal and uh, that Ezra like could meet? It's possible Ezra could have gone to Tanalor. Curious to see what they do with it. I want to know, will this intertwine? Usually, like, as opposed to Marvel, the TV shows, the movies, you know, they all kind of, like, incorporate into each other, but. All right. 
over there by a ship. He landed right here, right? Let's take this to Domas. Does he suspect you? Not a chance. I wouldn't have survived the purge if I couldn't become someone else. The rest of the crew is gone. I know the kind of friend he needs right now. You always excelled at the art of disguise. Disguises. Bode reports into Denvik, sharing an update on the fate of the heist crew. Denvik commends the success of the mission so far, which Bode credits to his ability before and during the Jedi Purge. Are they all around here on the saloon? There's one under the landing pad? Oh, shoot, I didn't go under there. here whoa what's this what's the point of that what it's so good to hear from you I feared you might have slipped your leash permanently. What is your current location? Outer Rim, Kobo. But keep your people out of here for now, understand? We're headed off planet to meet her. Impressive. And where is she, exactly? Wouldn't you like to know? Call it a contingency plan. I'll cut his head, and I'll make sure Seer Junda stays hidden forever. Boat reports in to Denvik after locating Seer Junda. He keeps her location a secret, however, as a contingency plan, ensuring his leverage over Denvik isn't lost for now. Cody Gall, thank you. Thanks for years of great fun. Blind Wave rules. <laughs> I appreciate it. Dang it. I want to... Dang, man. There's a chest here all this time. Come on, give me the last. Okay. Let's go inside. I'm sure there's at least one in the saloon. Probably none down here. the Empire all along, Moran. I assume you're referring to the Star Destroyer blotting our sky. Yeah. What? Even Kobo? Oh, I don't know. I think I'll slum it here a while longer. Why? I mentioned Dreo, my old partner. Never told him I fled here. Poor fool probably doesn't know I'm alive. Have you tried to contact him? Can't bring myself to enough shame to go around. Don't wait. Or you might miss your chance. Perhaps. Or perhaps I'll drown my sorrows a little while longer. Another time. It's about that time. I have to catch the next hauler off-world if I'm gonna make the meeting. Guess this is goodbye, huh? I guess so. <clears throat> but I wanted to say, uh... Oh... When two radiogenic substances... Easy, brain box. Brain box? I was trying to thank you. 
Hey, it wasn't a dig. Well, it sure sounded like... Oh, a dig. Because archaeology. <laughs> Not bad, Cal. I try. Really hope to see you around someday, yeah? You too. Stay safe, Toa. Hey. You know, I came here for a change of pace. Now we got a Star Destroyer lurking overhead. I should just sample it for my new album. Turn all that aggression into something creative. Are you sticking around Kobo with everything going on? Oh, sure. Sounds like a few people might bow out, and I can't blame them. But I've got art to make. There's something special about Kobo. A heartbeat. It's faint, but there if you listen. That's what I'm after. Uh, we've got a few tracks, yeah. But always room for more. Cal. Sojourner. Laughter is light. Oh, but my time on Kobo grows short. Any last words for wisdom? The wind whispers paths of sand. A blotted sun. A shadowed hand. Not even gonna try to guess what that means. So you have learned. It usually takes a while. As it should. Farewell, Jedi. Safe travels, too long. You will find your path, Sojourner. Have patience. It does look like less people in here. Got a second, Monk? Good to see you, Cal. I need to go look in the sky. I didn't realize there was a Star Destroyer up there. The weather report is cloudy with a 100% chance of Star Destroyer. Can't believe the Empire sent one all the way out here. Indeed. Pretty soon you'll be able to count Empire-free planets on one hand. Hang in there, Monk. Reese and I are working on something you might be interested in. He didn't a new saloon! About a franchise opportunity. That Star Destroyer's not going anywhere. Maybe I should strike up a new beverage to mark the occasion. See you later, Monk. Cal, you've been holding out on me. It depends. What are we talking about? I heard there's a whole shipload of High Republic knickknacks just sitting around in those spires. You wouldn't believe the kind of credit some of these elite types will pay for that crap. Terrain's pretty rough. Not ideal looting conditions. Yeah, Toa was telling me all about it. Of course, she wanted to put them behind glass. You don't trust her with them? Don't be naive, buddy. It ain't doing anybody any good in the hands of some historian. Follow the credits. That's what I do. Talk later, buddy. Sounds like my last talking with everybody. I was hoping to run into you. What did I do this time? Just want to say goodbye, that's all. Where are you headed? Well, not sure exactly. Just feeling restless. Time to move on. Take care, Mosey. Everyone's the leaving. Hell of a hunter, Cal. Hope to see you again. Be seeing you. My genius has paid off again! <laughs> what happened? Well, I told an Imperial officer that I knew about a secret Priorite deposit. Do you know a secret Priorite deposit? No, but I figured he'd pay me first and I'd find one along the way. So me and Olympi walk the Kobo Plains for hours. We're walking and walking and walking and walking. Okay. Impy's starting to get real mad. Suddenly, I spot something shiny in the distance. Olympi runs ahead to find... A priorite deposit? Nope. A Rancor caught in the majestic Kobo sun. What? I hid behind a rock until the Rancor left. Want to know the best part? What? The Imp had five credits on it. Score! Score! I'm really five credits. Cal. Maybe later. All right, what's this one? be another way always an angle always most a family looking for a new one um i can relate cal but you gotta make a choice the future or the past can't have it all <laughs> not in this galaxy yeah yeah that could work practicing what he's gonna say Bo tries once more to convince Cal to join him, hoping to spare the Jedi a betrayal at his hands. Hey, Grease. Know where Kata is? Upstairs, I think. <laughs> I'm just glad she didn't find the kitchen. 
That kid eats like a starving rancor. I gotta pick up some more scat steaks before we head out. No one makes them like you, Grease. And don't you forget it. Scat steaks, synth milk. Oh, I, I, I gotta make a list. Can you believe these Imperials strutting around like they own the bloody place? That's what they do best. And you know who to blame, don't you? Who? That blabbermouth, Tor, who first let it slip that this here rock is brimming with river clear priorite. Put a target on our backs, it bid. I bet those Imperials are using the priorite to construct some secret weapon. Or, or a, a palace. Be nice, BD. All right, laugh it up. We'll see who's right. I don't know where that came from. But I'm starting to think Turgo might have a hand in all this. That's ridiculous. Fine, fine, just a theory. Uh, I tell you what, that metal shark in the sky is giving me splinters from head to toe. I'm no fan of Star Destroyers either. Do they know the fishes need sunlight to grow ruddy and strong? Not sure wildlife preservation is on the Empire's list of priorities. Oh, I'll be on that list of priorities soon enough. Easy, Scuba. All right, all right. I'll let him off the hook for now. You're back! When the race failed, I feared the worst. We made it. And I've got the compass. When That's good. Done, then it's all over, is it? Or just the beginning. It's gonna take a lot to get Tantalor ready for the others. Wanna come with us? I appreciate the offer, but this cantina really has become a home. Glad to hear it, Z. Think about it. You are seeing Master Kree's dream through. Now don't watch it up. <laughs> How may I serve? Remarkable, isn't it? Gonna go with this one. Excellent selection. This will be useful. Delightful. Rubber, basic metal, worn metal, hard plastoids. Keep the hard plastic. Good to use this. I hope this will assist you. Marin. What about us, Marin? What Ooh. about us, Cal? I can't go back to the way things were with us. Nor can I. But things are not so simple now, are they? Are they ever simple? Perhaps not. But we will figure it out. Together. Sometimes I think about who I would have become had we not met. What a strange galaxy we live in. Yeah, right? Hey, Cal. You got a sec? You guys leaving too? What's going on? See, we love Kobo and all, but... Uh, I was never much good at goodbyes. I'm afraid we must say our final farewells, Cal. We have a bright hopes for our future. But those can't happen on Kobo. Not anymore. Where are you going? I haven't decided yet. Figured it doesn't matter. As long as we're together. Well said, Zeke. I understand. We need to choose what's best for you. Good luck. And to you as well, Gal. Take care, BD. Not now, dear. Winnie and Zig have decided that with the growing Imperial presence, they must continue the relationship off planet. I wonder if they'll actually like Great leave you. the cantina and just not be here anymore. All right, uh, we gotta go to another one by Domus. Is that the last one for Bode's uh, sounds thing? You've introduced a new species. After you plant it, I'll provide more detail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm piece of gear. Zig could knock this dent out if you'd like. Oh, no thanks. Help me remember how I got it. And how's that? Bounty hunter. Made the mistake of pulling a blaster on my little girl. Bode talks with Dome about how he obtained his jetpack. A typically blood-soaked affair that worked out well for Bode, but not for his opponent. Luke, one in the Lucre Hulk and one in the observatory. 
Ah, there that is. Dang. What just gave me experience? Alright, we can probably get to where we took out Dagon pretty quick. Where's the one on the Lucre Hall? Need to center myself. Right all the way to the top. Wait, why was there a questy spot? Do I have a mission right now? Ready to go? Is it just where the mantis is? Is that all it is? Explore the galaxy. Alright. Him getting the saber. Good balance for such an old saber. Like I never stopped training. Think I'll take it with me. Who knows what'll happen on Jeddah? He deserves one more chance. Bode. As the crew were plotting their return to Jeddah, Bo decides to take Dagon's saber for himself as he struggles with the upcoming dark decision that he must make. All right, let's... Nope, not skills. No, I guess I can... Let's go one of them. All right, so we need to... Fast travel to the Lucre Hulk. All right, what are we, what are we saying? One in the loading gantry on the Lucre Hulk. A rafter. Forward control tower. It hurts so much to have all these thoughts from Bode. Alright, where are we going? Ooh, that right there. I hear it in oh. I haven't felt this good in years. Gotta find Cal. Hope he's all right. <sighs> well, look what you've done, you dumb bastard. You fell for it. Focus. This is for Kata. She always comes first. As they fight through the Lucre Hulk, Bode realizes his feelings for Cal are now more than an act. A revelation that is fleetingly joy joyous and crushingly frustrating. Because he's like, I hope he's okay, and he's worried about him. Dang. All right, and then we gotta go to the forward control tower. And this is the last one of Bode's things. Ah. Uh. All right. Z, looks like you got a loose cable. Power down real quick and I'll fix it. What a gentleman. Very well. Now let's see what's in your head, droid. Suntari must have left something useful. Head cannon. After saving Z in the Lucre Hulk, Bo decides to check her data banks for any useful information on Tantalor that he could use. Man. All right. All right, I think that might be all of them then, according to uh, to chat. Um, we need to go to the final, I want to do the final force tear. There's one more force tear I haven't done, so. Where's that? What set, where, where should we go to? Um, and then all the Bode stuff, it just 
adds so much character. There's so many moments. Gotta visit Cat on the Roof. We can do that, too. The crash site? You mean, like, like way back? I guess I haven't been here in a long time, right? What are you doing here, Scuba? You could take off your suit. Oh, thinks he's clever. Well, lad, what if I wanted to go swimming? Then what would I do with no suit? You could put it back on. Ah, nobody likes a know it all, lad. Come, lad. You've got the uh, long stare in your eyes. What's next for you? Where does the wind take you? All right, Alexa, have a good one. I think I found a new home. Somewhere to plant my feet. Uh-huh. But uh, home is not something you find. That's something made. But I'm happy for you. It's not a simple business for a wind-tossed soul to drop their anchor. No, it isn't. Just, uh... Don't forget to come fishing with old Scuba sometimes, eh? Coward, I have a matter of grave importance to discuss. I fear, on oh. account of me helm, that you've got the impression that I depend on my suit for breathing. I hadn't given it too much thought. Maybe. I could hold my breath for ages. Oh, uh, okay. Got it. You better believe me. I'm fine. I'll prove myself. You really don't have to. Here I go. Hold up my breath in three, two, one. Oh, uh, very impressive. You don't have to do this, you know. See you around, Scuba. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. Ah. Ooh. Yeah, they don't have this one on here. Okay. Focus. All right, what's this going to be? Oh, jeez. So many red moves. Ah, oh, like that one. Oh, shoot. Dang it. I blocked him in dodging time. Oh my goodness!
Can I, if I can just fight this Mogu first, maybe. Come on, you. You stay where you were. Get the Mogu. Stay there. Just stay there. You're fine. Don't bother me. Oh. 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 almost dead. That's good. Catch that. Don't kill me, please! Heal! Uh, he's, he's right there! Okay, one down. No! Waited for the Mogu to die first. Oh, shoot. No, 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 I don't want to die yet. Oh, no, no, no. No! Dang it! You dang Triceratops wannabe! Oh. <sighs> that wasn't it. The echo hasn't faded. Fighting the Mogu! No! You dang Mogu! Jeez! Jeez! I'm hit. Leave me alone! Dang it! Heal. 
Oh, I thought of force powers. No. I don't like the Mogu. He's my least favorite. I like that the other one's kind of chill. Do this, do this! to it. Good. Alright. Now it's one. Ah, oh, dang it. Doubles there, and I keep missing it. Oh, dang. We did it. <laughs> What's your name? The music in the game? Not now. I'm following order. Thank you so much, uh, Aiden. Um, I think the music in this game has been really good. I I haven't picked up on all the Fallen Order connections, so I need to listen to more of them separately. But oh, jeez. That one was still not as hard as the rank horse. All right. Is that everything, guys? Did we hit all the main things we need to get? Go see Scuba one more time. Oh, is he? St will he still be out there? Where will he be? Uh, what was the name of the trophy? Maybe he'll still be there. Uh, it is twelve oh five. Yeah, uh, he's not
need to focus. All right, we'll just go back to the saloon, I suppose. I don't know where else he might be. I don't know why he was here. May have to find him again somewhere else. Maybe he just shows up somewhere. Um, we'll do one more thing before we wrap up. Uh, I know people said about going and seeing Kata on the roof. So let's go up there real quick. And there's also some more dialogue here as well, so. New seeds, magnificent. After you've planted one, I'll share what I know. Co-star, wonder where you are. Co-star. There you are. What are you doing? Peely is teaching me about her garden. She's got a green thumb. That's cool. No, she doesn't. It means she's good with plants. Oh, okay. I like pruning best. Plants can't grow unless you prune a few leaves here and there. So she taught you too? <laughs> what was that song you were singing? My mama used to sing it to me when I was little. That's nice. Thanks. This is your spot, huh? It's nice. I like the plants. Nothing would grow in the base. I saw a halibut once of a planet that was so green. Papa said he'd take me there one day. If you find the planet's name, I'll take you there. Okay. How's Kata doing? To be honest, I'm not sure the kid's been around plants, but she does like to prune leaves. And there are always leaves to prune. Grace thought she might like it here. Nice to get some fresh air. Let me know if she needs anything. Of course, Cal. If you feel like doing some weeding, we could use that too. Maybe BD's up for it. That damn Imperial ship. Sometimes I think I should have remained on Jeddah. The Empire's there too. It's the shade, Cal. Of course, Flora can grow in shade. Yet to grow tall requires a constant light source. Any amateur horticulturalist knows that. How'd you get interested in plants, anyway? Oh, it's quite simple. I wanted children, but the galaxy had other plans. And I like to watch things grow. Hmm. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I don't know what I've not planted. Got some seeds. Let's get them in the ground. I don't think I've planted this thing. Uh... A new species for the garden. Let's talk to Peely about it. Peely? How old are you? Why do you ask? Oh, this is cool. Because you know a lot of stuff. And I don't. You will learn. Do you know how trees grow? How? One ring at a time, Kata. One ring at a time. That's cool. Ooh, a bluebell squish. How fascinating. Its flower has a most unusual scent, drawn from the moss as it blooms. I find it quite pleasant. How do I know if I... Like, what I'm missing? Is there a way to check what I'm missing in my garden? Garden in peace, and you bring peace to all. I think I'm... Someone said there's ten types of plants. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So... I must need to find another plant, maybe? Open the door. Lord! Never did I know the fish we've added to my tank. And it uh, reminded me of something I've been meaning to get off my chest. What's that? Well, I'm no creature of comfort. But I've got to tell you, 
I'm taking a wee shine to your yacht. The Mantis? Aye. Can't have it. Do you know why I like her? Is it because she reminds you of it's a... It's because she reminds me of a fish. <laughs> Stand out of a trunk. How smooth as a flanker's blubber. With a fin and all. Alas, snow is agile as a real fish, though. I don't think Grease would enjoy taking the Mantis underwater, either. I... I know. Got time for another story, Cal? Let's do it. All right. When I was a few years younger than you, I was working the dredges not far from the outpost. Well, kid, I wasn't thrilled, was I? Those machines were blasted nightmares to operate. Anyways, there I was, when suddenly one machine starts screeching. Must have hit something awful, I think. I get closer to shut it off, and would you believe it? The ground beneath me gives out. I go tumbling down and find myself in a pitch black cavern. Couldn't see my hand in front of my face. Next thing I know, I swear I hear roaring, carried by this unnatural warm wind. Horrific. I start shouting my bloody head off. And luckily, old No Boots Corsa finds me and tosses me a synth rope. Back at the outpost, Doma tells me that a crew of smugglers lost a shipment of juvenile rancors in that fool cave. What? Can you believe it? A bloody rancor pack living under our very feet. I believe it. I <laughs> know, I'm just a local cut-up. But I've seen things. Things that'd turn your breakfast in your belly. Is that why there was a I rancor might... underneath in the funky caverns? Wonderful to see you, Cal. How are you? I'm all right. Got a lot on my mind. I hear you succeeded in your quest. Mm. Lost a lot along the way. In my day, the Jedi would say that the Force is a river, and every life a tributary that returns to the greater whole. I think Seer said something like that. To live is to lose. Nothing is ever truly lost. I think I'll hang on to that one, if you don't mind. I'm busy, young Jedi. You think Kato will be alright? I do not know. But you and I both grew up without parents. How are we? So far, so good, right? Just so. We must remain watchful, yet give her space. In the end, she will determine who she becomes, not us. Droid. I like Marin. Try not to get Cal in too much trouble. Oh, uh, they're gone. They do leave, man. So when they say bye, they really mean bye. That mean, that mean Mosey left too, and uh. Man, yeah, everyone's gone. Seeing the canteen empty out is making me nostalgic about how the whole thing started. Must have been tough in the beginning. Oh, tough. Tough doesn't even begin to describe it. First off, the entire place was a mess. Stains everywhere. Mostly old food, drinks, a few body parts. I even found the shiver beat nest. Tried removing it while they tried removing my head. <laughs> and it took two weeks before we had reliable power water. That sounds like a nightmare. Oh, it was. Oh, it was back then. <laughs> but now, funny, it all seems like a great story that I wish I could live again. I'll be here, Cal. Welcome, welcome. Make yourself at home. Like everyone's How left to die. This guy's cool looking. Huh. I don't recognize that species at all. Everybody's gone. It's so weird. A small crowd today. I don't think they're coming back. If the sound's alive, they'll come. They always do. It just takes them a little while to find their way. That's all. Enjoy the tunes. Say, cow. Would you like to buy my guide to Kobo? Not really. Good, because I haven't written it yet. But if you want to know something, I have all sorts of tips for Kobo visitors. Like what? Give information out for free. Come on, Cal. A frog's got to make a living. Hi, Cal. Hey, Monk. 
Good to see you, Cal. Okay. See you later, Monk. I guess he's got nothing to say to me. Fine, I did it. Happy now. Did what? Contacted his friend. Huh? Calm, letting Dreo know I'm here. It probably won't reach him. And if it does, he certainly won't reply. I wouldn't. Besides, there's no chance he'd actually come here. At least you tried. At least I tried. Talk later, hmm? A cow suggest suggestion. Moran sends a calm to Dreo for the first time since they split up. Maybe Moran's future is brighter than his past. Maybe the future is brighter than everyone's past, you know? Come on, so buddy. This used to be dark. Huh. Weird. Wait. Okay. No. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. Leave and come back one more time. All right, we'll go through the cantina one more time. All right, what? Now it's all dark again. What happened? That was weird. I swore that there was. All right. It's like leave, like, and go back now. Uh, I should have the red saber unlocked. Yeah. It said that I unlocked more colors, but I don't know if that's for New Game Plus or now. It might be for New Game Plus, because I don't see it. Alright, can I go back upstairs again, or do I have to, like, leave planet? It didn't take so long to load now. Hey, Cal, good to see you. See you around, Cal. Did you ever think about taking trips off world, Turgle? Maybe. But I'd keep my home base here, of course. But I imagine owning multiple luxury homes across the galaxy. As my fame and fortune grow, I hear the lakes on Naboo are beautiful this time of year. And Diego's got a thousand moons. A Diego? That's so many. Hiya. Enjoy the beats, Cal. Man, I'm still missing one song. I don't know where it is. Got a second monk? Till next time, pal. Monk, you back there? Here we go. Well, here we are. Nearly as many empty seats as when you first walked in here. The Empire is never good for business. Outer Rim's a tough place. Its selling point was being Stormtrooper free until a few years ago. See you later, Monk. Talk later, buddy. That one guy's not there. Wait, can I talk to that guy? Nope. There's a lot of, like, random new people, but all the regulars oh, are leaving Carrie, now. She is one cute kid. Yeah. You ever thought about having kids? Me? Uh, with kids? No. <laughs> no. I mean, well, yeah, yeah, okay. No. No, wait, what was the question? I didn't think it was possible, but you're actually blushing. Oh, no, I'm not. This is an normal color of my face. A very normal, typical color. I think the whole kid question is like gambling. If you're gonna bet, bet big. But if you're not feeling it, there's no shame in walking away from the table. That's... Actually, good fatherly advice. You think so? <laughs> hey. I'm good, Cal. I have another tale for you, Mike. Got a moment? All right. One more tale here. 
Yeah? I reckon you're ready to hear the big yarn. The mystery nobody's cracked. Sounds like a good one. Fifteen years ago, some marauders from the Inner Rim come to Koba. They demand half of all our exports in exchange for protection. Well, we all have a meeting that night to decide what to do. Some says we ought to do as they say us and hide the exports. Doma says, no way. I'll meet with them and we'll do this right. <laughs> we all think she's crazy, mind. Next morning, she meets with the marauders alone, if you can believe it. Not half an hour later, they walk out of the ridge, looking like they've found a ghost in their navy computer. Huh. Before lunchtime, they're blazing sky trails. Never hear from them again. Now, the mystery. What the bloody hell did she say to them? I'd kill to know. No kidding. I can't imagine. Try sitting on that riddle for half a lifetime. Talk later. And Laddie! Uh, did you know that I be a poet of sorts? I didn't, but I have a pretty good idea what you wrote about. <laughs> Hark! I muckle love tea fish. Yep. They try to catch a fish. Oh, to see through the eye of a fish. Gah, I can't recall the last line. If only I had my wish. Uh, ah, here. I do like my fish. <laughs> That was really something, Scuba. Aye, well, still a work in progress. You know, a muckle loved the fish. They tried to catch a fish dish, no. Now, what I was expecting from Scuba. Do you know the hardest aspect of my new life here? Does it rhyme with gurgle? It does not. <laughs> Rather, it's my lack of purpose. What sort of things did you used to do? Oh, everything from cataloging data disks to collating star maps. Well, I'd say you have a purpose. Everyone here seems to be happier since you arrived. For now, sure. But next week they'll be pulling up some 400-year-old droid, I imagine. I doubt it, Z. You're one of a kind. Sierra and Cordova are gone. Still can't believe it. Neither can I. We will honor them by helping the path, Cal. Jedi and Night Sister <sighs> together again. All right, guys, that might be the last of our uh, talking here. It's sad to be here. Everyone's gone. Like it was so nice filling this place up. Breeze, Breeze had a great last like line that he had before, where it's like it feels like a story that I wish I could live again. Like, I'm glad I took my time. I think it's been like 50 hours or so better playing this game. I've had a lot of fun with it. There's been some good story stuff. I've enjoyed meeting all the characters. It's just, I, I really like this. I think it's better than Fallen Order. It's definitely one of my favorite Star Wars games. But, all good things come to an end. Yep, they came, they went. We found some people. We helped some people. People died. Um, but yeah. Similar to the Cantina. A lot of the people that left, we have to leave too, guys. Um, but with that, there's also going to be more streams. At some point, Eric will be playing this game. He's going to be finishing off The Legend of Zelda. Um, so uh, that's going to be a, uh, a fun time whenever he gets into playing this. I'll be curious to see what difficulty he picks and then how he does with some of the boss fights and stuff too. Um, it's always fun to watch people play because uh, everyone has different styles, different force powers they prefer to use, different saber stances they like to use, you know. So we have that to look forward to. That'll be coming. We have Outlaws coming, and I'll definitely be playing that on stream whenever it comes out. Um, and then uh, maybe there's some other Star Wars games that we haven't played at some point, or just other Star Wars. Uh, content that we've been working on too a lot of books that we're reading and stuff too so um what's my next game um next week i'm focusing on my pokemon stuff because i have the pokemon tournament at the end of the month so if i stream at all next week it's going to be monday and wednesday uh for on pokemality just practicing with my team and everything so 
Um, I will be playing Spider-Man when that comes out for sure. I know that will be my next big game. Um, I'm going to see if Rick or Calvin want to maybe cover my usual Monday-Wednesday time frames and see if there's anything they want to play. Um, I know there's been some talk of a few different games, like uh, Diablo is one that Calvin was talking about. Uh, Rick recently finished Ocarina of Time, so there's been some talk of like if he should maybe try uh, Majora's Mask, which him and I have never played uh, but if not, I still have like Dark Souls I want to get into at some point, Horizon I want to get into, but I'm going to put all my focus over this next week or so into preparing for the Pokemon tournament, um, and just trying to have fun with, uh, with that. So, as far as my next big game, I don't know yet. But, I will at least be back for Spider-Man, probably like right at the start of November. Because I think it comes out like October 22nd or something like that. Um... And then, uh, and then we have Scream Stream in October, too. So hopefully Eric is done with Zelda by the time October comes around. We'll have our Scream Stream time frame. And then he may go into uh, Jedi Survivor maybe in November. We'll see what happens. Um, but, uh, yeah. That's the general idea right now. And we'll try to let you guys know what other games and streams that we have planned. So I uh, appreciate you guys being here as late as it is now and through all the streams. Or, if you've been watching this on YouTube uh, as, like, highlights or just the VODs in general, I appreciate it. And uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on when Eric comes back with Survivor or when we do more uh, Star Wars game streams. So. But, uh, otherwise, guys, thank you so much. I, uh, I've had a lot of fun. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun lore stuff that we've got. And I look forward to uh, discussing this with uh, Eric and uh, other people as well. I've had to be quiet about this for so long, and uh, it's not like I get to talk about it with anyone but you guys. So I have had a lot of fun doing this. So you guys have a good night, and uh, see you guys tomorrow for uh, Dark, our podcast over on twitch.tv slash blindwave. If you've watched Dark, we're going to be talking all about it. Friday, we're going to be playing some Smash Brothers again uh, at twitch.tv slash blindwave for our group stream. And uh, that's it for me for the week. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Goodbye, everybody.